right, it's time to get into SmackDown for oh. April 20th, 2000. Everybody smoking crack, smoking crack, smoking crack, smoking crack, ground, everybody smoking crack. Ground. So from what I understand, Tony has observer notes. That's great. Well, Tony, I'm glad you did that this week. I did them too, but you know what? The fact that you did them, it really means a lot to me. So I'm going to yes. step aside and let you sure. do it. check. Yeah, 9.14 Got p.m. You. Triple H's bad day began. <laughs> no, so that's know. not, no, that's not observer well, notes. That's on the show. Well, that was ob- I, I observed he it. He observed as well. it. <laughs> Observe this, brother. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll do it then. Okay. We have some observer notes now. I was uh, going through these, and I was like, "This is weird." I was like, "These fucking kind of look familiar." Then I realized they look familiar because we reviewed the May first, two thousand episode of Nitro. <laughs> so well, we was... have done a lot <laughs> of wow. retros. Pretty we're close. getting to the point where we're watching like back to back weeks at this point sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So uh some similar stuff. Uh, I tried to not take anything uh that was too close, but there's a couple fun things here that we can go over that was going on in the time of wrestling in April of 2000. Like the April 10th Observer. Oh, by the way, I couldn't find any figure four stuff at all from this time. It like stopped at September 2000. So Brian Alvarez wasn't born yet. Okay, fair enough. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> April 10th, 2000, Wrestling Observer. Uh, Vince Russo was on the WCW Live on 328. He said that on January 14th, Bill Bush told him that the company wanted to focus less on ratings and entertainment and more on wrestling. He didn't agree <laughs> and no refused way. to work. <laughs> <laughs> and he refused to work as part of a committee and told Bush he was hired for his style of writing. He said they presented the idea of Tank Abbott winning the title at the sold-out pay-per-view, where he would first win a battle royal and then beat Sid Vicious. And when he found out on two, when he found out two days before the show that Bret Hart was going to miss the show, so they were going to give Tank Abbott the belt and sold out. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because there's a lot of Tank Abbott title implications on that Nitro that we watch. Uh, a yeah, yeah weeks you're, right, you're right. You're not a Tank Abbott guy, James? Something I, wrong? Uh, Little I'm, man? I do like Bret Hart. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> well, why wasn't he showing up then, James? What the fuck? Uh, you know, his career just got cut short. Sean... By- would have also not shown up. <laughs> Sean didn't show up, but then he did show up later. That's Unlike true, Brett. Tony. Brett didn't he, show up later. Sean Whenever they started talking about putting the title on somebody else, Sean would feel better. <laughs> and I think I'm here now. House is down. I don't feel good either if the title's getting taken away from me. <laughs> uh, Russo also claimed that WWF turned it around in the ratings when DX went to the WCW arena with a rocket launcher. Meltzer says, somehow I thought a better attribution was the popularity of the Austin character when the entire shows were built around because nobody else was anywhere near as close to over. Bringing in Mike Tyson and at the same time McMahon's heel heat coming off of Survivor Series 97 uh, may have slightly been more important reasons. <laughs> he said WCW would now go after WWF and that the number two should throw rocks and stones at number one. Do you agree that the, the DX tank? Uh, Tony, do you? what do you think? Was it was the DX tank the one that changed it around for WCW? First off, it wasn't a fucking tank. It was a car. It was a, <laughs> it was Jeep. a Jeep. with he had a rocket launcher. A <laughs> rocket launcher. He had a rocket launcher. <laughs> I don't know if you're there or not. I mean, for me as a kid watching, it was that, man. I could Who the fuck is Stone Cold? Never heard of him. You know, this the car what, would make more up. sense. If they, know, just like, if they just the called, you know, if they just called it the car. Calling it a tank implies that you were going to kill somebody at wcw we brought that's a tank to your front cooler. door to kill you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that's way cooler <laughs> uh, but obviously they had no plans on doing that so no well maybe they did it just backfired maybe maybe the rocket launcher wasn't going off didn't have any ammo it's all you know that'll happen you play no Fortnite. ammo for the rocket <laughs> launcher they fired, they fired the we, rocket launcher they we forgot the rockets that? did they they did there's like a cut of it where they fired the rocket launcher and they had like an explosion effect and they kill somebody I don't know. Well, no. It's it killed Tank Abbott's Bush. Brent Hart did that. Selfish bastard. Tank Abbott's Bush. Tank Abbott wasn't even there yet. <laughs> You're, you are out of here. <laughs> One thing that Russo said that we all probably will agree on, he said that Scott Steiner's unscripted promo on Flair was the best interview of the year. <laughs> yeah, 100%, 100%. Steiner wins again. Here's something that really pissed me off. Vince McMahon came out publicly in favor of regulation of so-called extreme wrestling in New Jersey. Ruined my damn life. (laughs) Uh, uh, Assembly Minority Leader Joseph Diarrhea, who is also the mayor of Bayonne, was originally going to introduce a bill on 327 that would ban anyone under the age of 19 from attending the shows and would allow local communities to ban the shows completely if they so desired. This would have ruined my life. I was going to shows when I was nine. How can I fucking go under 19? This is fucking horrible. That would have been stupid, man. I would have taken a tank to his house. (laughs) 
would have drove up in my, my my dad bring up his blue van and I had a rocket launcher strapped to it <laughs> and I will blow up the East W Arena. <laughs> uh, even though the bill was to regulate what is called extreme wrestling, the bill is trying to be worded that it would not affect WWF or ECW or WWF or WCW, and ECW is of course attempting at getting itself in that category. Uh, we want nothing to do with them promotions such as Jersey All Pro Wrestling. <laughs> no, classic. <laughs> <laughs> said Steve Carell of ECW uh, to strictly ECW.com. We're a fully auto, uh, accredited wrestling company like WWF and WCW and don't want to be associated with those groups. To show the lawmakers have studied the issue thoroughly, the difference between the category of pro wrestling and extreme wrestling seems to be this. If you pretend to hit your foe and he f- spews fake blood, it's pro and legal. If you actually hit your foe and the red spray from his face is real blood, it's extreme and would be illegal. <laughs> So if you hard face somebody, you are going Fuck. to jail. How <laughs> ruling is that? <laughs> you can fake hit them, and he's it's got always fake interesting blood. to look back at this time, like 2000, late 90s, yeah. and like the protect our children bills that a lot of people were trying to pass for a lot of stuff, like this stuff too, yeah. but like. Uh, you know, just anything in general, really. Video like, games were terrible. They were bad. They were yeah, this, yeah. This, yeah, this video is games a huge one. Years after and also during the time that people were on TV saying, suck my cock. <laughs> <laughs> that was an implication. They were not saying, suck my cock. <laughs> well, Jerry Lawler was saying, show me your puppies and I'm coming. All the They're time. They're talking about dogs. 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 Oh. It, it, as long as it's implied and it's not said literal. <laughs> Yeah, they're fine. They're telling you to suck it. You don't know what it could be. It could be anything. It's it. What is it? <laughs> suck, uh, suck his leg. <laughs> suck his ass. Hole. <laughs> asshole. You can say asshole. It's fine. Uh, and last of that part, uh, at the April 1st Combat Zone Wrestling Show, one of the groups targeted as being extreme wrestling, President this is written by Meltzer. John Danzig came out yeah. before the show <laughs> and gave a speech and stressed how CZW is entertainment and that the governor is trying to keep them from entertaining the fans, which led to a CZW chant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shawn Michaels, final Inzig. match. Took- <laughs> <laughs> Shawn Michaels' final match took place on April fourth in San Antonio. And okay. San Antonio. Uh, well, excuse me. Come on, man. Let Shawn Michaels' last match yeah. ever. Classic. Uh, Bunkhouse brawl against Venom, where Michaels put up the <laughs> TWF title given to him by Just Incredible, who won it on the show two weeks earlier. <laughs> and Venom put up the promotion that he'd he won control say, of. He just said, give me the title. <laughs> <laughs> just Incredible said, okay, I'm in the click okay. still, though, right? Can that I still be in the click? <laughs> exactly like Shawn Michaels oh, gives you that belt. Well, it gets even better, Tony. It was your basic weapons match with cookie pans, crutches, garbage cans, a ladder, etc. Uh, oh, Michaels yeah, it's a basic. One. Of course. Michaels delivered an elbow drop from the top off of a ladder, which was his only big bump of the match. Michaels hit the super kick for the win. Michaels then said since he won control of the promotion, the first thing he was doing was stripping himself of the title. Uh, M- Meltzer says, add another belt that Michaels won that he never lost in the ring. Oh, and no. <laughs> it oh in my two God. Weeks. <laughs> One more for the good guy. Shawn Michaels so wins again. Michaels, <laughs> Michaels put himself in over his own promotion. in his own promotion in his last match and won the title. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, uh, so first, uh, Tony comment. <laughs> That's awesome. I love All right, Shawn James Michaels. comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, great. <laughs> uh, for the last part of uh, that article, uh, that observer, uh, Mark Madden, who does a sports talk radio show in Pittsburgh as his quote unquote real job, was recently voted in a local independent newspaper poll as the best reason to kill your radio. <laughs> 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 Just want to put that in there. Uh, April 24th, 2000 observer. So now we have some uh, EC dub talk here. This is in regards to, I guess we should kind of preface uh, this by saying why this Taz and Triple H thing is as crazy. So we probably talked we talked about it a bit on that May 1st Nitro review. But mm-hmm. at the time, uh, Mike Awesome uh, was ECW champion, and yes. he was going to be signed or was with signed to WCW. What was it? Yes, with, of course, Judge <laughs> Jeff Jones, which if anyone could explain why, a judge was Mike Awesome's manager. He was the uh, manager and did not talk. He did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm fucking the champion. I'm awesome, and I'm the champion. 
<laughs> and I have the gavel. Here's me with the gavel. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, so Mike Awesome, as ECW champion, was leaving ECW to go to WCW. Heyman was obviously not happy about this. And there was word that Awesome was going to, or at least there was a fear that Awesome was going to bring the ECW title out on Nitro and, like, trash it. Like, throw it in the trash. Like they yeah, did with like the Medusa Bifflin style. style. Yeah. Yes. So Heyman threatened to sue them. So they settled on not doing that, and they also said they were going to put over ECW on commentary, like say the name of it. I think all they ended up doing was saying Mike Awesome was the ECW champion. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if they said ECW on air, did they? I don't even remember. I, th- I think they, I think they did. Promotion. I think they did say it, but that was like the only thing. But it's like the way they like talked about it was they, they were supposed to like put it over, but they obviously yeah, yeah. did not do that. No way. Yo, Paul Lee historically <laughs> hates WCW. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like there's a the reason that is Vince mutual. even there's a there's a reason that Vince even oh yeah, Eric Bischoff cannot stand Paul Lee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. whether that's a work or a shoot, you know, whatever. But historically that's always been the story. I love to think it's a shoot, just because it's funner that way. Uh, and they were both working with each other at the time we watched that's crazy. the draft. Like that draft one, like it, that's like I was worked entirely because I'm like, damn, I feel like these guys actually are not enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. um, but Vent, that's why Vince helped. Uh, that's part of the reason Vince helped ECW in the first place is because he knew that Paul fucking hated WCW and like. If he helped them here, it would probably help them in the long yeah. run. I, I mean, he was already helping them, you know, giving them money. And the well, I mean, Paul Heyman yeah. before he even joined Ty Gordon with ECW, like when he left WCW the first time, had a grudge. Like he had, he had, he had, oh, yeah, he had did. a grudge. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Vince has historically helped him for most. I'm pretty sure most of the time he was running ECW. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, so it eventually leads to them obviously needing to get the belt off of Mike Awesome. In th- I, now that I don't know why they did, like Mike Awesome couldn't just like be stripped of the belt. Like why? Why even did they have to even do anything else? I don't know why that even had to go. Uh, no, no, you say that <laughs> kayfabe, yeah. brother. I, I mean, yeah, that's fair. I, I think everyone would have seen. All right, Mike Awesome's not here. He can't defend the belt. Yeah, but Paulie did that a lot. Where he'd come out yeah. before the show and be like, "Well, you know, <laughs> Sabu's not here. He doesn't want to be here." It was part. It was probably just part of Paul Heyman. It was a joke. It was always Sabu too. <laughs> it is always Sabu. Like, he took a tour in Japan. Yeah, again. <laughs> I was just saying it was probably part of Paul Heyman's lawsuit. You know, he just wanted to win this fucking lawsuit. You yeah, care. you and must defend the title too. That's part of right. the lawsuit. You have That's to do funny. A uh, well, Judge Jeff Jones obviously was was not a great <laughs> judge. <him> my <laughs> I guess, obviously, you know, if Heyman, I, I guess, you know, getting awesome to drop the belt after being signed to WCW also gets eyes on ECW because it's, you know, the story. But it's just still, like, a lot to go around. So uh, it says here uh, in the April 24th, 2000 Observer, Heyman came up with the idea to bring Taz in as a surprise opponent to win the ECW title, apparently formulated while eating dinner at a Chinese restaurant with the ECW production staff. I don't know why that was included. <laughs> okay, <pretty beast. laughs> A succulent Chinese meal. I feel like meal. we should have Chinese meals in our production. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Tony doesn't want to cook the steak on his own thing. Man. Neither <laughs> cook do I. The brats. <laughs> I'll cook the brats. Uh, whether the original deal included shooting an angle on SmackDown, which also resulted in a week where East, the ECW champ went to the ring and lost when challenging for three different ma- WWE major and minor titles, is unknown. Heyman called Vince McMahon, who accepted the proposal as Heyman laid it out, which at the time was for Taz to win the ECW title, then drop it on April 22nd in Philadelphia to Tommy Dreamer, although McMahon apparently was willing to have Taz drop it to anybody, <laughs> which is even funnier to fucking put yeah. there. <laughs> ah, ah, give it to fucking Al Snow. He does not work here. Ah, I don't care. <laughs> Do it anyway. Uh, with the original suggestion being to further McMahon's storylines, having Perry Saturn cost Taz the match so he wouldn't have to lose cleanly over an ECW wrestler, and and even could potentially use the footage to hype their own WWE angle. I don't know why the fuck Perry Saturn is the one that they were going to pick there, but whatever. Yeah, me neither. As of last reports, it wasn't clear whether or not Saturn would be still doing the run-in. Saturn was booked to appear on the WWE house show in Columbia, South Carolina uh, that night. And, and, and WWF didn't appear to even consider uh, it an issue as the uh, idea of needing an excuse for Taz to lose the Dreamer or whomever uh, in the title match. Uh, this... Wow will almost surely never be acknowledged by WWF on television. There are no plans on this point to have Dreamer come back to WWF and to gain revenge on Helmsley. This is obviously jumping ahead to what we watched, but that's okay. But there is a working relationship and an angle could conceivably happen, but it's very doubtful WWF would allow Dreamer to be positioned as Helmsley's equal in that situation. Yeah, you're damn right about that. <laughs> if it is Dreamer who gets the title, it'll immediately be questioned within the business because it comes across as if Heyman is so concerned about losing talent that he's now putting his title on the one wrestler he trusts won't be leaving because Dreamer simply can't be 
taken by anyone as serious world champion. <laughs> so, <Fuck. laughs> that was Liberty's taken. Yeah. Uh, the rating for the April 14th TNN show uh, that showed the awesome and Taz match uh, was a 1.12. The title match itself drew a 1.11. After all, the internet hype had to be a huge disappointment since the company's average over months of February and March was a 1.06. I guess I would have thought that that would have did a bigger rating for them, but I don't know. The TNN show aired at a weird fucking time anyway, didn't it? Yeah, it was Friday uh, I night mean, too, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can only... Yeah, you can only really move that too much with the internet back then. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. like it would have been a crazy... You know what I mean? Like, they would have had to really fucking push it on TV, but they... I was gonna say, they, if WCW said that that was happening on their show, maybe more people would have tuned in or something, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, uh, you know, at the time, this was a pretty big deal. Um, yeah, man. I mean, fuck. I, uh, the whole concept of a, a guy signed to WCW facing a guy signed to WWE facing off an ECW for an ECW title is like still like a crazy, still crazy, crazy thing. Yeah. yeah it's unbelievable. Sadly, it wasn't really too much of a match. It was like three minutes, right? If that. Yeah, yeah it was just a. Beat Back down. and forth, and then Katahajime. Yeah, they just whooped Mike Awesome's ass like all of them, like Dreamer, <laughs> I think too. And then Mike just Awesome walked. just literally just walked out and left. He like left Not, the crowd. He, I was gonna say he didn't even go through the like curtain. He came in and left through the crowd. I think they, uh, if I remember right, they like called it in like a hotel room. Like he wasn't even in the locker room at any point. I don't think. That's oh, crazy, wow. man. Because <laughs> he was gonna get fucking stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is it uh, for the observer notes. So let's talk about some SmackDown. All right. So we start with the cold yes. open here. Who's a fuck? Intro. I legit write down Haja Fuga intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but I do want to say the tag, the Peacock tagline for this was the oh. Stone Cold Truth for the McMahons. Oh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> he's, yeah, that is. He's, this is I a mean, Triple he's, H episode. He, he's talked about it. <laughs> Someone doesn't even show up once. <laughs> I, that's, what it's, that's what it's called. I don't know. That's uh, I cold open. Yes. It chronicles Triple H's bad day, which was I, last week. I'm so at 9.14 p.m. I'm so excited about this because the episode that they're recapping here is the Jericho Triple H title change episode, which I wanted us to talk about. But I was like, oh, man, we don't get to talk about it. And then the more it went on, I was like, this is like the whole angle, like just right here. We can totally just talk about it. Yeah, yeah. this fucking beast, too. This video package is awesome. They make it look like the best angle ever. Yeah, this is sweet. <laughs> uh, so Jericho versus Triple H. Yes. Uh, on Raw for the WWF Championship. APA here. is at ringside as well. With gloves. With APA glo with gloves. No mercy style. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is like dude, a real... Everybody... This they must have got all the attires from this like era. Of, I like, think so these because couple shows because even on this raw is all no mercy attires. Triple H wears the green logo shirt with the track pants on this yeah, one. There was another right. one too. I think Kurt Angle's wearing his stuff. They, uh, well, there's another. There's a spot in this recap that's a no mercy spot in the intro of no mercy. That's Eddie crazy. with the flowers. Sa Rio. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, so Jericho versus Triple H for the title. Mm. Uh, Stephanie nonchalantly throws the title in the ring. I don't even know who she was really throwing it to. <laughs> ah, here you go. Fuck it. <laughs> um, Jericho hits Triple H with it. Uh, pins Triple H. The ref uh, is out. Triple H kicks out as yes. uh, a new referee comes into the ring. That's right. Earl comes down for the two counts. I love that it's Earl Hebner that comes down. To it's the always ring. Earl Hebner. <laughs> um, anyways, so... Uh, a little bit of scamble here. Uh, Jericho ends up hitting the lion salt. Yes. Um, and then Earl goes down to count after Triple H pumped, pumped Earl them. Hebner to the ground. I, I love that they always, Triple H and Earl Hebner always have this relationship where Earl gets in his face, Triple H pushes him, <laughs> Earl pushes him back. This yeah. time. <laughs> then Triple H hits him. <laughs> this time Triple H decked his ass. Yeah, he had so enough. No more. He's Earl. out. No more. Uh, Jericho hits the lion salt. Earl ends up seeing it. And fast counts the three. Jericho wins the title. And the crowd went crazy. And Dude. the APA had gloves on. Dude, that was a fucking <laughs> awesome spot. They did have gloves on. <laughs> Jericho celebrates with the title. And APA steps in front of him to stop Triple H from going after him. It was a fucking awesome scene. Uh, Triple H then brings out Earl later on in the evening. When was that, Tony? Exactly. 9.27 p.m. Thank Triple you. H's backlash. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H's backlash. That's what it says. Triple H brings out Earl Hebner. 
Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, Mike Kyoto is also out there. <laughs> All the stars are here. <laughs> All the, star, the super group. <laughs> Triple H says Earl wasn't even the legal referee well, and yeah. that he counted super fast, man. That was fucking a really fast count. And he's telling this to Mike Kyoto, who is a referee with Earl Hebner for years. And you think I think be Mike Kyoto it? was the legal referee in the match before Earl Hebner. Yes, he was. Right, yes. he was. And you'd think Mike Kyoto would just step up for his boy and say, fuck Triple H. Mike Kyoto says, He's stooge. He, st- he said, Well, it was a fast counter. Earl did screw Triple H. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. He's stooge for the game. <laughs> Damn, Come on, man. Mike Kyoto lives his life by the book. You know, he's got to follow the ref rules. You know? He's got a job and a family and a mortgage and an internet <laughs> you know, bill and a phone bill. Exactly. <laughs> he's got to respect Mike Kyoto. <laughs> yeah, I guess champion's so. bill. <laughs> Earl says, <laughs> Earl Hebner says he will reverse the decision. Do it for all deal. <laughs> That's all I had then. Earl says he will reverse the decision on two things. If, no, if you lay a hand on never again. <laughs> that is how he fucking says it too. It's, and if he has a job for life, WWF style. <laughs> you can take away my job, but you can't take away my legacy. <laughs> and it's, it's good to be great says, and modest. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H says, yeah, man, that's awesome, man. That sounds really good. But here's the thing. Okay, buddy, we, you got it. You're fired. Oh, <laughs> and then he fucking oh, kicks shit. his he, ass. He, he, Shane grips him up, and Triple H just, they stomp him out. <laughs> this is great up. with the video package noise and all that shit. This is awesome. And then he always says, like I just said, who can be me? No one. And by the way, damn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that sounds okay, great. Buddy, you got it. You got it. That's no problem. You're fired. <laughs> you better be nice to me if I'm going to follow you. <laughs> you can't abuse me. I will make you look like a shithead in front of ten thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> so Linda McMahon yeah, they stop comes him out, down. They fucking pedigree him. <laughs> Get his ass kicked. They pedigree Earl. <laughs> Mike Kyoto should have pedigreed him. <laughs> Linda Damn, McMahon comes down. Uh, and she gets into the PM, ring. Triple H gets screwed again. Uh-oh. Of course. 10.02 p.m. Oh, no. <laughs> Linda McMahon is here. Uh, and she says that Stone Cold Steve Austin will be in the corner of The Rock at oh. Backlash. My internet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Did John hear? Fuck. I don't think so. Did he... Did it say disconnected? We now present a brief intermission as Joni attempts to reconnect to the call. No. Yeah, we're still recording. All right, let's just do it on your phone now. <laughs> All right, so Stone Cold will be in the corner of the rocket backlash. Yeah. <laughs> 10.02 p.m. 10.02 p.m. Uh, Stephanie comes down. Damn it, man. Uh, yeah, the, I'm guessing you. Um, they're not working on anything. I mean, it still says my internet's on, so I don't know. Maybe I gotta restart something. Reset your modem and shit. Should I stop my recording? No. All right. <laughs> keep it running. Keep it running. <laughs> long time. I'm not All stopping. Right. He's. I don't think Tony's stopping. So. No, I'm still good. All right. I'm gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna do a live report of me trying to fix my internet. Linda McMahon is here now at 10:02 p.m. No, I missed that part. We gotta go back to 9:27. No, 10:02 p.m. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Well, I'm gonna have to go to the rock. It's 10:03 you know. now. We missed our fucking window for Linda McMahon's promo. <laughs> Dumb ass. Where's she going? Yeah, come on. Linda Ellerby arrives. Linda Ellerby is here, and you do not care for some reason. You don't care. That- that better be a come on from your mouth and not somebody else's. It's from it's from both of our mouths combined hey, into one, one big mouth. mouth right now. Fuck Ooh, you. We're one big mouth together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That like is one combined big mouth. Yeah. Let him know, Tony. Fuck this guy, man. Yeah, yeah fuck you. Know you're now, wrong. <laughs> Dude, we have things to do. Did you, hurry up? <laughs> Did you try paying your bill? Yeah, have you paid? Am I paid? <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Holy shit, dude. God damn it. We're still recording. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, just keep, just put my, I uh, put my fucking. I have, I have your recording to my microphone right now. Every, it's on I the recording. The Tony can hear you. Fucking, let's just do the show. 
If you just make it so I can hear Tony, then we could just do the show like this. No, you should do it where you can't hear me. <laughs> yeah, why would you need to hear Tony? <laughs> Look, Tony's fine with it. You're fine with it. Let's do <laughs> this. I'll tell you guys if you're interrupting each other, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> so Stephanie comes down, 10.07 p.m. <laughs> I'm about to start watching Minions. Don't make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! What the hell? Hey, how's it going? How come I can hear you double time? What's happening here? Get off my phone. Hey, man. Get off my phone. You wasted all my damn minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're not all... It's free no at night, you dumbass. What kind of fuck Free nights and got? weekends, yeah, dumbass. <laughs> you know, I got that. We now return you to your regularly scheduled podcast. So Linda McMahon comes down and says <laughs> that Stone Cold Steve Austin will be in the corner of the rock. Is that what at she backlash. says? What, what, what time was this? This is at 10.02. Oh, Triple H fuck, was screwed man. again at 10.02 p.m. Yeah, 10.02. Well, Triple, H, I like, Triple H said, why is your mom even here? It's <laughs> a shame. Because why she's the here, COO. Bro? CEO. C the COO? She, she was a seal, wasn't she? The CEO? host of Nick oh, News. Oh, with Linda Ellerby. <laughs> she, of, I was gonna say she does a Linda impression, but that's just her voice. She does. <laughs> so therefore, I've decided to put someone in Rock's corner to even the odds, and his corner will be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Great. And yeah. Seth says, "Yeah, woo." Says, "I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna let you try that one Fuck more you, time." Mom. You bitch, mom. <laughs> Linda says, "No." Then Stephanie and Linda recreate the No Mercy intro slap. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what you're geez. talking about for No Mercy. No, yes. I get it. Stephanie goes for the slap. Linda blocks it and hits the slap of her own. Oh, it's, it's gonna hurt me a lot worse than it's gonna hurt you, dude. The fucking stop. Now the stop slap. That was crazy. Linda was. Killing it in this great man. spot, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Triple H tries to pedigree. <laughs> no, awesome. he could have done anything from there. That's true. That's he could have done anything from that position. But then Shane jumping decks Triple H in the nose, and Dude, they the all Shane start fighting. Line. That was awesome. And Stephanie, so Shane and Triple H are pushing each other. Stephanie walks up, slaps Triple H, slaps Shane, and then does the Yano shrug. <laughs> if you're so <Samuel! laughs> oh no, <laughs> dude, this video package is so <laughs> sick. This was awesome. Yeah. If this was in real time, how this actually was, it would probably be like the coolest shit ever. S Stephanie slaps her boy, slaps Shane. Like, oh, oh, what's going on? If just a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Let's talk about how absurd it was that they had Triple H just take the title right fucking back from Jericho like that. That's like. Fuck you, man. Crazy, man. Like, yeah. what the fuck? You had to know shenanigans were up when it didn't close the show with Jericho winning, but Yeah, fuck, that was like man. the top of the first hour, right? Yeah, it was. Or something that, like that. Like You know that it was... It, the situation pop, was like, look at this jabroni. Yeah, we'll put the title on him. Sure. Yeah, ha, ha, we're going to put it on him. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how that went. I like to think it was actually that way, and Triple H then immediately went back and said, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, they actually chronicled the times like 20 minutes later. He comes it was back real out time. There's a documentary happening. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, that if pop, you smell. That pop, <laughs> <laughs> the pop Jericho gets when he fucking wins the belt is so crazy, man. Well, people just didn't want to see it on Triple H. Yeah, but Triple to be H had fair, go away heat at the time, I think, didn't he? To be Jericho fair, Triple pretty H. Over, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I, I, I think this kind of like helped him put him sure. starting the stuff with Stephanie. Put him yeah. there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, Stephanie was the real catalyst for Jericho Vane. You're right. Um, but the Triple H thing is, he was like crazy. Like, he was actually a good worker at this point. He hadn't blown out his quads yet. Yeah, that's right. No. He was still rocking. He was doing Iron Man matches every other week, it felt like. <laughs> yeah, he was like really working, working. Yeah. It wasn't until later, you know, after his quads. Uh, he became Ric Flair and Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> and and Honky Tonk Man. I don't know how. Of course. <laughs> if you smell. If you smell. <laughs> Dude, I don't. I popped so big for this. Like, I can, I can remember back, like, in my notes, I can see if I start writing in all caps, if I pop huge for it. I popped so big for the If You Smell. I don't know why. It was yeah. just like the perfect timing. I don't know. This video package is awesome. That's funny that you do that. I do the exact same thing. Actually. It's real. It's <laughs> <fuck. laughs> Whatever sounds good. There's something later on on this show that I'm sure you know what one I was writing in all caps for. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure my notes are also in all caps. So yeah. I don't know. Um, Triple H with Vince versus The Rock with Austin at Backlash. Interesting. 
And Chris Jericho, you are not the champion. That is not a tag match. That is with as in they're managing them. Yes. Yeah. Austin is managing The Rock. That'd be awesome if it was Austin and Rock against Vince and Triple H. (laughs) Whoa. Everybody on the ground. Everybody on the floor. Smoke a crack. (laughs) <laughs> i love this shit man a lot of pyro i always loved uh when they would do the zoom into the smackdown tron logo and then it would like fade to the next shot i thought that was a cool look well right, at this time sweet. they did the fade into the smackdown logo and then the electricity <laughs> yeah there was like electricity yeah. effect <laughs> you're right this was like the best smackdown the hey, where the fuck is this show where's this show Mobile, Alabama. Wrong, bitch! Philadelphia, Newark. Newark. motherfucker. No, it's not Newark, you <laughs> idiot. You fucking idiot. <laughs> it's Newark, I think. Yes. Fresh out of Newark. The first union center in Philadelphia, which we would, of course, call the FU Center. <laughs> Even as a child, I, I refer to it as the FU Center. Well, we're going to pass a bill. Philly, do they hate their own fucking arenas. I Don't pass place. a bill, man. Leave Passing a, a bill. No, well, man. You can't say the FU Arena anymore. Damn it, man. Well, your tank it. will arrive at your house and you won't It's die. the Wells Fargo now, which is not nearly as cool. Oh, the well, I know that place. We do know that place very well. We don't well. like Wells Fargo. <laughs> we, we don't like them, and they don't like us. Or at least they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. They really this don't is, care. This is also right side SmackDown Ovaltron, so everything is right here. Road Dog versus Edge to kick the night off. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the stars are here. All the classics. Oh, you didn't know? Last Monday, Road Dog and X-Pac jumped Edge and Christian backstage and beat them with the tag belts. So this is leading up to Edge and Christian against Road Dog and X-Pac. I how easy these matches were set the belts. up. Just yeah, like... we beat you up. We want your titles. Well, we will kill you now. Okay. Road Dog came out with a microphone without a mic flag on it. Is that right? That was very weird. Did they I not have notice. SmackDown mic flags yet? Or no, just they WWF had ones? WWE. Yeah. Oh, they had yeah, WWF right. ones, but yeah, they yeah, used for whatever later, reason. Right? Huh. Yeah. He was uh, kicking anyways, that shiznit doggy style, of course. I'm always kicking that shiznit doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> he was the coolest kid, coolest guy ever when I was a kid. I always tried to memorize everything he said. Hell yeah, Fucking dude! That's sweet. like the that's like peak wrestler is being a, like you, all people care about is your entrance. What I the didn't f- it does, give nothing a matters fuck after about that. Road Dog's work rate no when way. I was a fucking kid. But he threw some good punches. Oh yeah, he it's because it, you didn't understand the business. All right, the business has evolved. <laughs> we don't care about entrances no more. We do not care. <laughs> Damn it, man! We care about with the bell to bell here. All right. <laughs> Damn true. it! Why do you think I like Shawn Michaels? I didn't give a shit about his work. Because <laughs> well, that there, motherfucker could not work. Gyrating oh, his hips. And, wow! Uh, wow! Wow! Yeah, that's right. Wow. You heard it here first. Tell him, Tony. <laughs> wow! Yeah, that's right. Tell, wow! He's right. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to turn this back to eight ball billiard right now. And hey, bro, I will billard my balls in your mouth. You understand me? James calls the solid balls holes, and he's a crazy bastard for that. Dude, it, because I like billiards, and I play it a wrong. lot. And when you get it in the hole, he calls it a wrong. pot. So there it, you go. When you, get the, when you get the white ball in the hole, you pot the ball. Scratched, brother. You pot you the scratch. billiard. You're on you pot. <laughs> Always. You're smoking, Always. of course, the people's blood. <laughs> no! 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 no. <laughs> Not yet. We already told you. No. The Jesus. Oh, sorry, about this guy. sorry about that. Holy the shit. Yeah, yeah, you missed a full it. Shawn Michaels there, buddy. There's a rest of a card here we have to worry about. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm taking my ball. Oh, I'm going over now. God. Take your anyway. billiard and pot it. <laughs> we are one week from backlash, by the way. <laughs> okay. Edge does an elbow <laughs> off the ropes to Road Dog at the beginning of this match. That's I was very confused. I thought Edge fell. <laughs> you can't see it. It does not show up for some reason. Edge also hits a shoulder tackle in this match, and I feel like I never saw him do that before, and it threw me off really bad. You know what? I wrote that down. Edge had a flying shoulder tackle, which was cool. I love that move. <laughs> well, that's good. I, I, I don't not it, like it. Also, it you should know you're- Road Dog out of the ring, too. It did. You should know you're in Philadelphia because most of the show you hear, <laughs> just air horns <laughs> oh, going yeah. off. <laughs> I wrote that down, too. <laughs> uh, Edge funny. rolls up Road Dog during his shake, rattle, and roll signature maneuver. Of course. Uh, that was his one move. He also had the pump handle slam, I guess. Where he fucked you in the ass. <laughs> he fucked Shiznit you in the doggy style. style. <laughs> he also had the, the knee drop. He where he go, ah, oh, the shake, 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 rattle, and roll knee drop. <laughs> yes, that's, you're right, actually. <laughs> it is, yes, the two moves, that's yes. That's true, you're right. Uh, then the road dog, road dog uh, re- he returns the favor. Uh, O'Connor rolls him backwards and then beats him. They tried to tights. apply 
well, he pulled the tights to get into the pin. They tried to imply he held them. It's not true. He didn't <laughs> like, cheat. He just beat Edge. He was meant to cheat, cause, but he wasn't close enough to the ropes to grab them, so he just beat <laughs> oh, Edge <okay>. clean. <laughs> Fuck you, Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> so, uh, Road Dog uh, yeah. gets the win here. Uh, backstage, Triple H, Stephanie, and Shane are walking to nowhere. Uh, Shane says he is going to go get the boys. He's going to round everyone up, and he says, check you later. That's a cool motherfucker right there. <laughs> That's awesome. For some reason, it then shows Tyson and Austin. Stone Cold is on the show without being on the show. It's Even Stone when Stone Cold Cold's strikes, not here. Dude, don't you remember the Stone Cold Austin strike? Austin strikes Tyson. What do you think the, what would the modern day Austin and Tyson thing be? Conor McGregor and Happy Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy and Tyson. <laughs> Jericho and Tyson. There you go. Whoever it was, I don't remember. Oh, I just remember. Oh my God, Jericho and Tyson with the crackhead. That's you right. Don't remember the crackhead? I remember that. Here's what I remember from that it's the South crackhead Fox. and Mike Tyson going to sleep ringside. <laughs> <laughs> what about the it's South Bronx yawning? fucking team? What is, and I what, think uh, that, South, South Bronx Street Gang. That was yeah. the name. Yeah. Funk Jr. was asleep in the crowd. I think. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> did happen with his mask on. Hey, Jay and w Silent Bob was were, awesome at Jay that and Silent Bob were also there, and then they got blackballed from WWE. <laughs> <laughs> Owned. Remember when Rick and Morty were on AEW? That was cool too. That was uh, crazy. Rick and Morty was crazy, man. What an era! They, I think all, I think all the heat went to Chuck Taylor for that one. The, the Rick and Morty <laughs> yeah, you're right. I ain't seen him since. <laughs> yeah, good. So Triple H and Stephanie McMahon Town Hall. One, two. Is this on? Oh my god, bro! Not uh, only do they have my time, but Stephanie is a complete smoke show at this time, man. Unbelievable, bro. She is gorgeous fucking yeah. woman here and triple h is in the no mercy alt attire it's probably all what? three is i think it because i think the first two were trunks the third one was the shirt and the track pants and then the fourth of course a referee shirt <laughs> of course i think that's I like, that they, like yeah, yeah i like right? that they included that for everybody the referee me too shirt. i i because why not i also like that they included special referee i don't understand why that's not included anymore so triple h basically recaps the recap that we saw earlier Dude, but just Triple whole, H voice. Yeah. The whole thing. There's also some fun signs here, like I heart Triple H's mom. I like to score and slut. <laughs> of course. They don't get very far in this. They uh they they say slut a lot tonight to uh, uh Stephanie. Steph I don't Stephanie doesn't talk at all on this no, show. No. <laughs> they always do that to her, man. What's wrong? Triple H uh, says tri Does Triple H uh, make the match? Uh, yes. That's what it sounded like. Because the McMahon Helmsley regime is in full force, so Triple H has just as much power as Shane or Vince or Stephanie or Windows. Of course, of course, of course, yes. <laughs> so that's how that works. There's an asshole chant for Triple H. Uh, he said he's heard a lot of people talking about how the McMahon Helmsley regime had a bad day. The record books will show that it wasn't a bad day because I never lost the title. <laughs> Damn that's it. That's true. That's true. And it will never show Earl Hebner trying to screw me, and it will never show uh, us firing Earl Hebner. <laughs> I don't know how none of these fucking will show up in the record books, but they don't. There's not even a record book, dumbass. Yeah, what record? I mean, we saw Austin... He's uh, talking about on Fandom Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Cage match, maybe. Cage oh, match okay. might have it on there, yeah. Uh, he says it will never show me and Shane then firing the, that incompetent official. The one thing it'll show uh, was when Linda McMahon, your mom, <laughs> came out here to make her very special <laughs> announcement. And while we're talking about your mom, we're talking about having some kids someday. But to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving your, our kids with your mom. She's a psycho. Your mother struck down her only daughter, and she'd be kicking the kids around and smacking them all over the place. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> be... I knew something was fucked up with Linda Ellerby. <laughs> Triple H was right, actually. He was on the That's right side crazy. of history here. He said, I wouldn't really give her the pedigree. I was just scaring her, but no, your hothead brother uh, runs over and punches me in the face. And Shane's always been someone of a mama's boy, and there's nothing <laughs> wrong with loving your mommy. <laughs> Very weird. Uh, he said, I'm going to give you a chance, Rock, to have someone in every corner. No, 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 no. How about all around the ring? And in this very ring, it will be the Ayatollah of Butthola. And Jerry Lawler would love that. Yeah. Line. <laughs> 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 Going one-on-one -on -one with 
the people's champ, the rock, you can come up with a good one for that. <laughs> I, I told like a people's butthole. jump or nothing? Or? No, nothing yeah. like that. I told a butthole was where he put his all of his fucking energy into. <laughs> he was brainstorming all day for of that course. one. Of course. What am I going to fucking say? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, it will be a lumberjack match, and those lumberjacks are being carefully hand selected by Shane, and there will be no more bad days. And this was 20 well, minutes long he did this. <laughs> as he says, no more bad days. Taz! Tommaso Ciampa. Oh. No, bro. Taz. Come on, man. <laughs> Taz! I don't remember this pyro for some reason. He has pyro. Uh, he has the championship ECW the pyro title. Just flashes for a while. It's like, geez, it's like it looks like it's flash. malfunctioning pyro. Yeah. <laughs> Cole on commentary says that Taz is the ECW champion and he won the belt on an off day last week. Oh my <laughs> god. ECW. Hey, ECW. ECW. A reminder ECW is not owned by WWF at this point, but. That's true. Uh, they were definitely McMahon was definitely helping in. Paul sure, because I mean, this is what the <laughs> the third or fourth time ECW has been brought onto the show. Yeah, absolutely, and they've mentioned it by name and like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Taz comes out in a cut off orange Taz shirt with the ECW belt on and no pants. He's just in his gear. Uh, this is an interesting place to do this. This is Philadelphia, of course. So there's ECW chance from the crowd, and Triple H decided he wanted to fuck that over. <laughs> fuck you um, guys. Yeah, of Taz. Taz says. They call me the human wrecking machine. Yeah, what the what fuck the? are you fucking <laughs> talking about, bro? You're in Philly. Who calls you that? <laughs> not once have you been called that, especially not here, bro. That is crazy, man. Uh, Taz says, it's good to see you're in such a pleasant mood, brother, but the mood is about to change. And Triple H immediately jabronies him. Say could he not say that you're going to be just another victim? I was waiting for him to hit that I was that waiting line. for that, too. I feel like it was like four times he could have dropped that line. I, I guess you yeah, can't say that. Yeah, he changed it. He, he said what can't you just said. It. He said, yeah. uh, mood is he about said to change. mood is about to change. I was like, no, say you're going to kill him. He's a victim. Yeah. He's going to die tonight. Yeah, beat like me Taz. if you can. I was waiting for that, too. Like, oh, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, yeah, he None didn't do that? any of the cool shit. No. <laughs> yeah. Human wrecking machine. <laughs> no, and they don't call you that. <laughs> fuck, man. And we're going to add a Z. We need more Zs. Taz. <laughs> Taz what did, one more time. What did Taz say? There will... It's good to see you in such a pleasant mood, but the mood is about mood. to change. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, like Triple H immediately like <laughs> jabronied him too and did the fake like you know Sean oh my that he god was that face yeah, bro yeah, yeah. Oh. That, that Triple H face oh, yeah. and it cuts it cuts to it and zooms in I was like holy fucking immediately shit just man. Shit all you need to do is do the Scott Hall fingers you know that would have just buried him for real yeah if the rock would have came out and said that Triple H would be shitting in his drawers dude Taz <laughs> challenges Triple H I've never seen this before like Taz challenges Triple H, and Triple H accepts without hesitation. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> That's crazy. I, like, no hesitation at all. Usually there's, like, Triple H will sell, like, that. Yeah. oh, damn it. Like, no, yeah, I can't fuck. believe you would come out here and take my moment. He Dude. said, I will face you tonight. He says, I will fucking kill you tonight, Even, Taz. Yeah, he fucking is totally okay with it. Taz, fucking, Taz has some weird lines here. He says, you run around like you got everything under control, but you open that mouth of yours a bit wider and take a bite of something you can't swallow. All right. You can't swallow the human <laughs> wrecking machine. Dude, T even worse than Triple H just straight up accepts it. Taz says, you ain't even got to put the title on the line. Taz! Shut up, what Taz! The hell, Taz? Don't say <laughs> that. By the way, they do put the title on the line. <laughs> the title is up for grabs in the match. Taz didn't even ask for a title shot. You had to put the title on the line. Oh, but I will, and fuck you, man. I will beat yeah, your ass Yeah, he says, you want a piece of me? You got it. Cole says, wow. He says, you bring that little belt of yours around your waist. What's that stand for? ECW. The chant, ECW. He said, well, Jack, <laughs> understand this. This is a World Wrestling Federation, and I'm going to prove the world. And to these idiots chanting those three letters... That ECW sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what the what fuck? The? Not that little belt there, son. That <laughs> says, hey, you don't say that. Hey, don't and by the way, say that shit. <laughs> by the way, uh, you they the call game? you the game. <laughs> I, I, I don't play games. Dan, 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 <laughs> that was the Dan. worst closing line ever. <laughs> Holy shit. That was Undertaker levels of fucking horrible well, well, comebacks. Well, I'll well, tell you what, big time. Uh, be yeah. prepared to get choked out. Uh, yeah. You call yourself the game? I don't play games. I don't hey. play games. Dan, Dan, Dan hey, puts his arms way, up. <laughs> they call you the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you by the learning tree. I accept. <laughs> oh, not the learning tree. <laughs> he like they hit his music and he puts his arms up like he just fucking won. You and by fuck. the way, they call you the game. 
Holy shit, man. Unbelievable, that, man. That is brutal. I don't, uh, wanna, I don't want your titles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> all times have to say we're we're waiting. if I let you. Come on, man. Dude, just hit the line. all the lines. All the lines are here. Just fucking say any of them. Uh, you, know, you know they told them not to, though. That's why. Yeah, they yeah. said, you are not. You are Taz with two Zs, and the mood is about to change. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> You are not that guy. <laughs> you are not that guy. Put some fucking pants on, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. They liked him when he came in. Yeah. For what, a, for one match? <laughs> Jim, Jim Ross really liked him. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Anyways. He faced Triple uh, H. That's what happened. Yeah, we'll talk about that later tonight. Uh, yeah. But first, Lita and China are walking backstage. I need some. I, I need something to be clarified here. And maybe you guys remember this. Mm -hmm. Why is one of the angles here that Eddie Guerrero passed his GED? Because, dude, because. <laughs> because I, they, that was a talking point here. China yes. says, Lita, it's her and Lita, and I, Lita you know, fucked something up last week in a tag match with them. And Lita says, hey, you got a great outfit. And China says, listen, you fucking idiot. Eddie passed his GED and said, we can team up. So don't fuck it up. <laughs> He's happy because he passed his GED. <laughs> okay, that's great. Why? Because yes, he he's got, trying he his, to. He got his GED. That's character, character development okay. that he's got his fucking GD. Yes, China turned on Jericho, helped uh, Guerrero win, then later explained her actions by declaring uh, something with Latino Heat. Then they get to the GD stuff after that. Uh, Backlash, which was also billed as the night of Guerrero's prom. He said okay. he was to have it, just earned his GD. He <laughs> yes. came out in like a tuxedo GD. and a bow, t bow tie. What did China say, I won't date you unless you have a diploma? He was trying to provide, all right? And he needed to get he's his GD. He's got a job. I'm watching him do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wants, he's getting ready for after wrestling. He right, says honestly. this shit's not going to last. Yeah, yeah which is smart. <laughs> he came yeah, out in 1957 right. Chevrolet, and he wore tuxedo pants Movie and a Movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> Interior. <laughs> Interior. So, <laughs> China says Eddie passes GED, so he's in a good mood. So tonight, Eddie has agreed that, that the he mood will team up. is about to change. <laughs> By the way, they call you the game. <laughs> Well, I got my GD. Dead, dead, dead. I don't play By the way, You passed your GD. <laughs> Well, I'm oh. not smart. I failed. Dead. <laughs> Arms up. <laughs> By the way, they called you the game. Fucking hell, Fuck man. Fuck you. <laughs> Dead. That would be way cooler. <laughs> this game oh. sucks. Dead. Dead. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> 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 he, like, he could have just left way before that, man. Just let him accept the fucking match and leave. Oh my god! I'll tell you what, big time. <laughs> fuck! Fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> so Eddie Guerrero and S.A. Rios are teaming up against the Dudleys tonight. Yes, on Raw, <sighs> S.A. Rios and Eddie teamed up against the Hardys. And Lita accidentally moonsault Eddie and the Hardys won. So after the match, China got payback by powerbombing uh. Sarios. <laughs> Sorry about All right. that. True. Um, Dude, Eddie Guerrero is the coolest fucking guy in the entire fucking universe. This man. is like, yeah, this is a great Eddie era right here. The song is awesome. He's just fucking swagged Eddie out of his just mind. G D. And he's smart as hell. <laughs> he's super Good for smart. him, bro. Uh, Cole's, Cole says you gotta give Triple H some credit He's facing Rock in 10 days and now he's facing Taz on Smackdown Yeah, whatever, man <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie meets up with Kurt Angle backstage Oh, yes um, Stephanie and Kurt are flirting with each other Yes um, Stephanie invites Kurt to be a lumberjack tonight And then they have a little awkward moment She says, uh, she walks up and says You know I thought you were handsome <laughs> oh, mm. shit. All right, true. <laughs> Triple H is fucking breaking things in the bank. <laughs> but your most attractive quality is, that, is your credibility. I wonder if you could bring some credibility to oh, tonight's Lumberjack God. match. And Kurt says, I accept. And please fuck me. <laughs> please fuck That's me. That's awesome, man. Like <laughs> Triple H, I'm a smoke burying this, this guy. This angle's not happening. I swear to God, <laughs> this angle's not happening. So we go to Dudley Boys versus Eddie Guerrero and S.A. Rios. Yes. 
Um, like you said, last Monday, Lita moonsaulted Eddie Guerrero instead of, I believe, the Hardy Boys. Yes, she was trying um, to moonsault Matt Hardy. And then China Power Bob. <laughs> and then China Power Bob. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll like to play games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 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 The arms, up. the Damn. arms up is crazy. And his that little shirt, that's uh, fucked up, man. <laughs> uh, fucking Essay Rios does a tilt to our head scissor on Bubba and look like it killed him with it. Uh, Bubba Bubba bombs Essay, which is an awesome move. Lawler Regular wants, move. Want, yeah, just not a, not a finish or anything. No pop. They don't. I don't even know if they call it Bubba Bomb or not. Uh, no, I don't think so. Just a regular move. Lawler won't stop doing bits about Eddie Guerrero and helping him with his fucking GED. Just won't stop the whole fucking match. Yeah. D yeah hey, Devon got... does the flying shoulder tackle. I he always does. remember him. I remember him using it, not Edge. No, he definitely. Yeah, he did a big one too. He also did a weird clothesline. He would spin out of too. It was cool. oh, yeah. Devon <laughs> the spinny clothesline. Yeah. Devon hit the neck breaker oh, off the second. I love that move. Yeah, that's awesome. I wrote that down. Yeah, you should, because that's fucking sweet. The setup <laughs> that's, for that's it isn't sweet. that hard either. No. But uh, no. it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, S.A. Rios goes for Arana, and Bubba stuffs him with a fucking sit-out powerbomb just with the quickness. It was awesome. And he breaks it up at one. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, smart. he's too smart to fucking get two, man. Uh, there's someone in the crowd that has a sign that says, I've been drinking all day. <laughs> that's I hear that. That's for true. <laughs> uh, the Dudleys go for the 3D, which has Bubba hit the ropes? Which is a weird, I think, OG version of it that I just fucking forgot for some reason because I'm used to them just doing it. But Bubba like yeah. went to hit the ropes for it. Um, and Eddie trips him uh, and then pulls Bubba out. S.A. Rose hits a huge crossbody, the Devon on the floor. At the same time, Lita is on the other side trying to dive on Bubba. And, well, she misses and dives on <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, they hit the 3D on S.A. Rios and the Dudleys get the win. Uh, China then gets in the ring and grabs Lita. Grips her. <laughs> Just grips, grips her up. Son of a bitch. Again, <laughs> I will kill you. Do you. This shit again. Eddie is going to get flunked somehow now because of this. <laughs> you just knocked all of the information out of his brain and he's fucked. Uh, uh, at the, the same Dudleys time, get a table. Yes. Uh, the Dudley's got wood. And I have an erection and I'm a fucking weird <laughs> bastard. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's what he said. That's pretty in accurate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they set up a table. Behind China and Lita, China uh, backs up, bumps into the table, realizes it's there, has a stare down with Bubba, and just gives Lita to them and leaves. <laughs> and they just, they load Lita up and power bomb her through the table. That was awesome. That, <laughs> that was sweet. Annihilator with this fucking second row power bomb and Bubba goes, he's going, he's going in that trance. He's, he's in that trance. Face he just came, he came. <laughs> he came on over his wood. <laughs> <laughs> they said May Young Terry and now Lita. So this is the bub the run of Bubba power bombing coming. and coming. Yes. I and like how Devon had to smack the shit out of him to get him out of the trance. Yeah, that was that cool. shit. Which is a change from why Bubba uh, Devon used to have to slap Bubba, which is because he had a stutter. <laughs> 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 so we go backstage. Chris Benoit, Perry Saturn, and Dean Malenko are hanging out oh, by a lamp. Nee, 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 All right, there's nee, a lot nee, to take nee. in here. So Chris Benoit is the IC champion. He's hanging out. Dean Malenko's hanging out. Perry Saturn. How long has Perry Saturn been just fucked up, man? <laughs> what the fuck is he he's wearing He's always here? been a crazy bastard. I guess in WCW, he did wear some crazy gear, too. But, like, here he's yeah, just hey, casually yeah. sitting here with some crazy-ass shit on, like, mesh, just mesh arms with a red, like, shirt. <laughs> That's just Perry best? Saturn in his every day. Like, he goes to the grocery store like that. Speaking of Perry Saturn, he says, you saw Taz out there throwing around challenges? He looked like Donkey Kong, doesn't he? What the fuck? <laughs> Man. <laughs> what, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Donkey Kong? Talking about the DKC. We saw him the other day on the AEW. No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> DKC, yeah. Donkey Kong country, that's all. He got Donkey Kong, doesn't he? And then Shane comes in, he dabs them all up and says, hey, we're selecting the best lumberjacks and we want you guys in. And they talk about it for a minute. And they're all in. So they're all lumberjacks. <laughs> He's a crazy... Dude, this is a crazy looking scene here. Yeah, yeah. you should check this segment out. Yeah. Uh, well, even crazier, dude. it transitions <laughs> to the, the next part here. I've never seen anything like this, this ever is in a, my life. This is a, a three-hit combo of the craziest Holy shit possibly ever. Of this, yeah. 
The next Holy 15 fuck. minutes was AI generated for <laughs> Deadlock. I think so. I, this feels like it was placed in here because they heard we were watching and said, ah, we got to give the boys a little bit here. This did it's not like air when this originally aired. It's one of those aired. Twitter bots booking a show for us or something. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fucking Doll E drew this. <laughs> yeah. So it transitions straight to Rikishi's ass cheeks walking down the hallway. <laughs> Big fucking sloppy bouncing okay. ass cheeks. I got a question. I know he's got big ass cheeks, but how come every time no. he walks, he's got to smack him? That's what I wrote, Tony. <laughs> I said, I wrote that. I said, they imply here that Rikishi slaps his ass cheeks randomly walking. <laughs> Why? I just thought that was real weird. Why the fuck's he got to smack Bro, him? Bro, if every you time? had that much ass, Tony, you would understand. You just don't I get do, it. and I don't do that. Bro. You do not have Dude. Rikishi level ass, bro. It's a whole different that's, thing here. First off, that, that's disrespect to me. Second off, I can't believe you I, say that. Third uh, off, I'm sorry. The implication that Rikishi slaps his ass cheeks randomly walking around just <laughs> in com mid conversation. His, that gets his energy up, bro. It's like his that's finisher. His idol, that's his idol state. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Dude, it was real sloppy here, too, walking through the fucking hallway. Uh, Cole says, that's, that's one wide load. But it doesn't stop there, does it? <laughs> that was not No, all. because then it transitions to Big Show's <laughs> ass cheeks. This gimmick has nothing to do with butt. He's not slapping time. his ass or anything. This is the first time he's ever <laughs> zoomed in on Big Show's ass like that. I don't know what was going on here. It was not then as impressive cut as to I was CM expecting. Punk's ass. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a big lump on it for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. The WB kept saying there is no lump there. I said, well, that's <laughs> weird that you would say that. Why would he say that he has a lump there? He doesn't have one. <laughs> big Show had a shocking amount of no ass. I was very surprised by it. Because he's been working out recently, you know what I mean? Or all of it went to his cock and balls, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Sir, <laughs> the WWF Rewind brought Holy to you fuck. by Star Wars Episode One Jedi Power Battles for PlayStation. What the hell is this? Y'all ever fucking play this? No goddamn way, man. No <laughs> way. Yeah. Chris Danker no probably way. played and he probably says it was good. <laughs> probably loves it, man. Probably can't get. You probably did like shit. two episodes of a let play and never finished it. You know. <laughs> Let like Chris Dinker, Let him know. know. Let awesome. him know. Yeah, I fuck. want the ending. I want to see the ending again. I'm still game. waiting. I'm still waiting. And of course, nothing makes me think of Star Wars Episode One Jedi Power Battles than Scotty Too Hotty beating D Malenko for the light heavyweight title. Of course, that, that is crazy. <laughs> Dude, I, Scotty and I, I think they do the rematch at Backlash. If, if I remember and Dean correctly, probably wins it back. <laughs> that match is crazy. That Scotty and Dean. Oh, match it is. It, You're right. Have we watched yeah. that or something? I I don't know. I've, I mean, I've watched them. Write that down. We should watch that. We should watch that back. They yeah. they like really go crazy. By so. the way, D Malenko does win that match. He wins the title back. <laughs> <laughs> so Rikishi versus the Big Show. This is. This is unbelievable, man. What the fuck is the Big Show's entrance? Well, Big, well, it, it's, it's from the Big WWF Aggression Show. album. That is insane. It's from Aggression, bro. Where's the Big Show? <laughs> it's got some weird ass shit. I don't remember him ever coming out to that. I remember the song, but I don't remember him coming Dude, out to he, that. Well, he might have been using that when he was like champ. There's no way. He might have. Yeah, you want to hear some of the lyrics? <laughs> Yo, you got lyrics? <laughs> Wait, I gas what? hop when I hit my 6 fold pedal. I rock and I got fans from the ghetto to heavy metal. I took it to the next level. Guard gated estates and marble floors with the slight bezel. Oh, That's shit. All I got what? It. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the big show. That boy's spitting. I like, the I like the fucking funk that Tony put on it. Too. I get high, start zoning, get paranoid, oh, and leave my pits roaming. That sounds like Ooh. me. Get high, start zoning, get paranoid, and leave. <laughs> what what that does that have to do with the big show? What? <laughs> I'm gently sliding my seat in my Bentley. You think big show sits in a Bentley? There's no Ooh. way. No way is big ass fitting that. Where? No way. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. Yeah, good shit. Big Show's hot here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, just—he's like doing the Scott Hall walk to the he ring. He does do the Scott Hall walk. He gets on uh, the apron and starts dancing. What the? He's fuck He's doing is the happening? comedy horse shit gimmick here. That's what he's on. Well, this is—you know—we gotta turn him back soon. Yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. reset him next he, week. He just, won right. the, he just won the title, and he had his monster run, and now we're bringing him back to being goofy. At Backlash, <laughs> we will reset the Big Show. <laughs> big Show gets a mic and says that Philly is his town. Wrong. 
and they call him the big funky here in Philly. <laughs> the, not the only that, James. Nobody has ever called him the big funky. They don't ever. call him that. They don't call him the big show. They call him the big funky. <laughs> That's what they call him. <laughs> not funky. Funky. This is we're resetting the big show back on. <laughs> Immediately big chokes him someone through the ring right now. <laughs> fucking hell, put him through the floor. He says, Rikisha, you dance a lot, and I would like to have a dance contest <laughs> to see who shakes that rump better. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, hey yo. <laughs> so Rikishi is out here with his big ass after slapping it a bunch of times, and they're having a dance contest. And big show. Starts dancing. He says, hey, I want you to hit my music. So they play the Too Cool theme. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Hit my music. Damn, Sorry about cool. that. We don't want that one. We want well, this one. That'd be awesome if dancing to that, banging man. It, banging it. Uh, Big Show fucking lays it down here, man. I've never seen a man dance so Is that what fine you call before. That? He's laying it down. He's laying it down. Laying, laying, it, laying down. it down. You don't Jeez. even you know. You already know. Laying it down. <laughs> uh, You're damn right. I love that Rikishi puts the glasses on, looks down, and the lights go out. I always of thought course. when I was a kid that that's was the coolest. Crazy. Like the lights are cool until he looks down and then like <laughs> they go out. I think that's really cool. That's a shut off, yeah. Uh, and Rikishi, Cole says Rikishi's about to shake that big backside, and then Rikishi starts going fucking crazy, shaking that ass. Rikishi was putting it down. He's crazy. Hell yeah, laying it down too at the same time. Well, Big Show said, fuck you, man. And they attacked him from behind. <laughs> he glommed him from behind. <laughs> just fucking annihilates him. And the lights come back up. They knew it was time to stop that. <laughs> so, okay. This, <laughs> Big Show. They imply on commentary that yes. Big Show is a, has a split personality where he likes to get funky and then also is a mean bastard. That is unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> i i had to rewind it to make sure that that's what they were trying to say because i thought they were like oh big show has like you know a mean side to him no they straight up say he has like a split personality and he is the of- big show in the big funky depending on location <laughs> 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 that should have been a fucking movie, a TV show. <laughs> yeah, it's a buddy cop movie, him and himself. <laughs> <laughs> the big fun gay doesn't seem to have a big run, sadly. Oh man. Not sure what happened there. <sighs> uh, so Big Show out. Big Show does the worm in this match. Dude, alright, so hold on. We gotta there's <laughs> There's air horns going off. This, this is, is where like air horns. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, this is well. They're trying to. That's for the big funky. That's what we do in yeah, Philadelphia. Of course. <laughs> of course. I would know. <laughs> so Big Show hits. How, James, I need you to tell me how you feel about how Big Show hits the ropes. <laughs> Cause this is scary as shit to me. This is crazy style. <laughs> yeah, if the if the rope snap, Big Show would he would, dies. Yeah, he, there's he's going head first under the ground. There's he, no way he hits him with his armpit as well as both hands on the same yeah. side. That, that's uh that's Jerry Lynn style, man. He's that's got that, horrifying. He's got that old school. He's fucking, too big for that shit, man. No way. That's, <laughs> that's that's how you know he trusted the WWF at the no time. No way. That was not the big show hitting that. That's how big Funke hits the <laughs> <laughs> That's that Hogan, Jerry Lynn. That's that old school fucking, yeah, that shit's crazy, man. Dude, I don't even. Rikishi does the Rikishi bump off a shoulder tackle. Uh, that, yeah, was wild. that was nuts. He's just <laughs> doing shit. And then Big Show does the worm. <laughs> As you said, what the this, fuck? This, this might be up there with the Trish Stratus worm from that one episode. Holy hell. No, that was, that this was, is way better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this is like right, right up there with time. this. They were going, <laughs> the hands, I, you know, there was a lot it, happening. His here. hands went fucking out of control. <laughs> Big Show gets arm dragged by Rikishi. Rikishi and also takes a Samoan drop. He does an arm drag. Like Rikishi fucking big drag. Show feeds him for an arm <laughs> drag. It's crazy. It, it leads to a Samoan drop too. Fucking hell. And Rikishi, then, dude, Rikishi cactus clotheslines Big Show over dude, the top. That was fucking crazy. Holy I fuck. I thought they were going to get clipped in the ropes, man. Holy it was, shit. These guys are having a fucking crazy ass match here, man. They both hit the floor and the referee count started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you guys are out of <laughs> here, man. See ya. Double K. Uh, yeah, that was so, it really was that fat. One, two, three. Fuck, man. It's just like special guest so referee. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm reminding me of, Tony. The special guest referee. What are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> No mercy. That's where they got it. I like, I like that I'm questioning that. I do that to you guys every time. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> does. You yeah, have to. You're right. Big Show starts leaving. Rikishi gets back in the ring and Rikishi says, <laughs> Big Funky. <laughs> <laughs> 
He says back his butt up. He's a Rikishi and Philadelphia want you to back that butt up. This so is crazy sexual, by the way. Bring this your whole... big body in here. <laughs> bring your <laughs> big body in so here. So we can finish what we started. <laughs> bring hey, your big yo, body. This is crazy. Why don't you back that butt up? Bring that <laughs> big body back in here. We can finish what we started. So they go oh? face to face. <laughs> <laughs> they go face to face. And then Rikishi puts the shades on Big Show. And in return... Big Show somehow gets a second pair of shades. They, he spawned <laughs> more shades. <laughs> Pulled them out of Rikishi's ass after he slapped it a few times and puts the shades on what? Rikishi. The fuck? The lights go happening. down and they both start dancing. And everyone's loving this except Kurt Angle backstage Kurt- who's w- watching on the backstage Ovaltron. What the He's fuck? watching on the Space Ghost Coast to Coast monitor. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, what the fuck? This is absurd. I actually had no idea what I was watching at this point. No way, fucking (laughs) Zorak. Dude, Rikishi (laughs) super kicks Big Show. Dude, holy fuck, that's so sick. Super kicks Big Show, takes the glasses off of Big Show. (laughs) And then leaves. Did you hear what King said? No. King said he ripped the glasses right off Big Show's monkey face. (laughs) Now, why did you say that? Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't he say said, funky? He said monkey. He said right on Big Show's monkey face. Damn, bro. Well, there's also a line up. here that I don't know where this is. Say that for? If I heard this right, he says, that's what happens when you drink your gravy as a beverage. He does say that he about Rikishi. He does say that, yeah, yeah, in the middle of the match. Because he's talking like, about how big Rikishi's ass is. So he's, oh, that's what happens when you drink gravy for a moly, beverage. man. Yeah, Big All Show, right. they're dancing together, having a good time. Big Show goes for a high five. Rikishi says, I remember that shit. Savant kicks him, rips the glasses <laughs> off, his monkey face. The monkey face, bitch. <laughs> and then leaves. That was awesome. Holy. So uh, Kevin Kelly and Kurt Angle are backstage. Apparently, there was some footage with Kurt Angle watching Gladiator or something. I didn't see <laughs> of that. Of course. That was a look at the motion picture Gladiator. And I some, saw say, it, yeah. some say you're a modern day Gladiator. Was this on the footage? No. No. I was, was about to say, I didn't see shit. <laughs> That's fucking. Uh, I should have gaslit you. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt yeah, Angle's watching Big Show versus Rikishi. In my head, like maybe that's what the AI generated footage was. Maybe there's a big Gladiator <laughs> skit, but they replaced it with this. It was Magnus. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Kurt was watching Gladiator, um, which I believe was that TV movie, uh, which is pretty good actually. Was I think I think this is an actual the movie movie, ain't it? Yeah, but yeah, it, it became a TV movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, which was it's actually pretty good. I used to watch it quite a bit. Well, good for you. Um, was Kurt Russell in it? <laughs> I yeah, Kurt Russell's in uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe, that's what it was. Yeah, good movie, man. The Solid. Crow is a different. It was movie. on Spike TV a lot. That's um, that makes t- a lot of sense why you've seen that a lot of times. That it probably came <laughs> out after <laughs> Raw. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> um, Angle says that he will beat Chris Benoit for the IC title tonight, uh, and then Angle says, "See you at the movies." Uh, and he says, "My fans will see me on the big screen soon." And big screen is Hollywood talk for. The movies. <laughs> <laughs> he yes. was in the movie Endgame. Okay. <laughs> he was in Endgame. He was also in Pro Wrestlers with versus without Zombies. With and without a gun. <laughs> he was in Endgame with and without a gun. With or without. Uh, so we get to Taz no. versus Triple no. H. No. About that time. The WWF title is on the line for some reason. Not the ECW one. No way. Cole, of course, reiterates that Taz won the ECW title on a day off in less than three minutes. <laughs> Backlash is brought to you by Castro DTX Drive Hard. Yeah. There's also a swinging truss in the logo, which That's I thought awesome was awesome as fucking hell. Yeah, I, I love that one. The Backlash 2000 setup is awesome because I'm pretty sure that's the one that goes into Mercy. Taz goes and starts beating up Triple H, which was surprising me, but Triple H cuts his ass off <laughs> so quick. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Waller says Philadelphia was WWF country, you idiot. <laughs> and the ECW bingo hall is no bigger than a phone booth. That's very fucking Dude, mean. Dude, that's... Cr- you know that's how crazy this is? Like, they called yeah. ECW... The ECW arena a bingo hall. ECW was, like, regularly pulling, like, 1.52, yeah, you know, whatever 2000, people. I mean, the arena pulled, like, a 1,000 at least. I don't know if it did at that. It does now, at least. But maybe not back then, but... Uh, I know that they had no fire code or any. I know Paulie was putting people oh, they in were there packing and packing them in the arena. Yeah. No way, Hell yeah, yeah no, man. no AC. Just pack their ass in there. Just get in there. and We'll figure it out. I can't believe they called it a bingo hall. That's a pretty respectable fucking draw. And not only that, like 
it it makes Taz look like an idiot. <laughs> like, yeah, it does. <laughs> he's ah, oh, he's the shitty ass shitter champion of the world, and he sucks. All right, fuck. Why That's is what he Triple H said Triple the whole H? match. He wasn't even calling spots. He was just saying ECW sucks every time. Yeah, he got ECW up to sucks, him. and no way am I taking any suplex from you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Dude, ECW sucks. <laughs> Drop down, don't suplex me, and I'll hit my move. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Taz goes up on Triple H. Triple H cuts him off. Triple H cuts him off, and the crowd chants slut at Stephanie. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> of course. <laughs> what the fuck? They do it like twice during the match, too. They do it on the outside. Did you notice yeah. that the, the, the... I don't Maybe it was just my eyes were fucked up at this point, but the cameras look different for this match. Like, two of the cameras look completely different. Probably using the bingo hall cameras. Damn it, man. It was for the ECW fan cam footage. Yeah, of probably. <laughs> uh, Taz goes with a head and arm Taz plex, but no. Triple H says no fucking no way. No way. No he way line, am I bitch. taking that. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, Taz does hit a Northern Light suplex for a two. That's about as far as Triple H is going to go suplex yeah. wise for the human wrecking machine. Taz scoop slammed him on the floor, which I was surprised that he even fucking got that. And he threw him on the stairs and then they called Stephanie a slut. A huge <laughs> fucking pop for the Kata Hajime here. Yes, that Taz mission, you idiot. Uh, Triple H then low blows Taz <laughs> as Stephanie distracts the ref. Uh, Triple H then hits the pedigree, arms locked the whole fucking Dude, time. He's yeah, the pedigree. You are dying on this man. <laughs> oh fucking time! <laughs> I man. let you put me in the Taz mission. You are dead to me. Uh, but Tommy Dreamer is here. Oh my god, who is that? That's Tommy Dreamer from Who's that this other promotion. Piece of fucking shit. Who is this guy? It's a ah, fan in the ring. Oh, this Fuck him. Fuck ugly. this guy. <laughs> Dude, Triple H gets up and hit. I've never seen Triple H bump somebody so hard in my life. How hard he hits Dreamer off the apron here. He hits him so hard it knocks the ref down. <laughs> uh, the whole time, yeah, the whole time, by the way, uh, Jerry Lawler is just burying Tommy Dreamer. Barry and fucking Taz, Barry and ECW. He ECW sucks. Taz he doesn't is a put them over once. No <laughs> yeah, way. dude. Don't put him over once. Yeah, he also said at one point, I think he said, I beat up some ECW guys on my days off too, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he said, Oh, yeah, so uh, Taz won a title on his day off. I used to go beat up ECW guys on my day off too. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> Lawler, legit shoot fucking hated ECW. Yeah. Yeah, why yeah. are we doing this shit? Yeah, why, why are, are we doing this, Vince? This shit why sucks. Why <laughs> sign this guy. <laughs> Crazy, man. Uh, Tommy Dreamer gets in with a chair, tries oh, to hit God. Triple H, but brains Taz instead. <laughs> and Triple H fucking kills Tommy. He pedigrees him. Fucking arms held way back. <laughs> Might as well handcuffed him. <laughs> he waits forever to pin Taz. I mean, he Dude. just fucking is crawling Dude. and having a good time waiting. Taz is out forever. And I was like, oh, is Taz? I was like, is Taz kick out of it? That'd be a fucking big pop. One, two, three. Ah, fuck. Yeah, that's uh, right. What a dumbass. Oh, uh, man. Fuck, man. Um, wow. The mood changed immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Dan. 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 <laughs> Taz then, did get in a lot of offense here, more than I thought, than I remember. A lot though. is putting it very politely. He didn't For do what anything. I thought it was, I thought Taz got pedigreed in three seconds, sure. if I remember. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, that's he, fair. Yeah. He I mean, he did hit him with some stuff. Yeah. He didn't let Taz call anything. What he did was he was fucking like, yeah, you can, like, I'll bump. punch me. You could punch me. Yeah, punch him. He yeah. ain't taking a bump from but he's taking a Yeah, head and arm Taz plagues my ass. Yeah, Anything named after you no way <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> but it's my move brother uh <laughs> so taz and dreamer are out and triple h and stephanie just celebrate after and then that's it <laughs> that's just the end that's it wow yeah i i don't i don't even know if they i i can't imagine it follows up like taz just loses yeah, they're triple getting h. tommy dreamer uh t triple h program coming up that was soon, pretty right? much it for taz <laughs> yeah. yeah like what is does that taz, was pretty like, much it because at, yeah. at uh because Mania 2000 already happened, right? And that's where he was in that What's going on fucking... at Backlash for Taz? Anything? Uh, let's see. What does... What is he... I... It would not shock me if he's not on the show, but let's see. I uh, mean, I thought... Taz... It, oh, of course. He's in the six-pack hardcore match <laughs> where he loses. <laughs> yeah. To Crash yeah. Ollie. That's pretty much it. I mean, until Spike Dudley and him get the tag run, I don't think he does very much. Yeah. Wow. I think you're... Yeah, I think you're right. Which is... They just did it because they're in Philly. Is that all they were doing? Well, because they, I mean, they, they were doing yeah, a favor. Philly and he had and the belt, the so favor. might as well fucking do something with it, I guess. Um, but like, yeah, that's so, so yeah, he's not fucking even on judgment. He's not on Judgment Day. Uh, he might be in the King of the Ring. I don't even know. But 
Well, yeah, Tommy Taz ends up much. beating Taz for the ECW title. Well, um, <laughs> Tommy only ever wins these fucking things when someone's leaving. He beats Taz for the ECW title, and then immediately Just Incredible beats him the same night, like same segment for the belt. Because oh. Tommy Dreamer's an idiot. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird, I guess. I mean, because, you know, the Dudley's left and he won the tag titles with yeah. Raven. Right. But that's so... I don't know why... I don't even know why they let him win the ECW title. If they're going to give was, it just I, incredible. I think it was just he was the only guy... But it's like to, Tommy was like... You know, Tommy didn't want to win it. No, he did not. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Weird call. Oh, also... Uh, on the next Raw, uh, Benoit beats Taz in one minute. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, like, Triple H doing it, that's it. I mean, <laughs> what do you want, uh, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> uh, JR uh, has talked about in the past. He has, he loved Taz. He's yeah. the one that, like, I guess lobbied to get him signed. Um, and Vince loved Taz when he first came in. He thought he was like, he thought the character was super cool and like they sure. didn't really have anybody doing it like that, you know, suplex style sure. shit like that. Um, because he beat fucking Kurt Angle when he first came in, you know, big yeah. fucking reaction. Um, but I, apparently voices started getting to Vince and he immediately just gave up on Taz and he said, ah, fuck it. Did Bruce Pritchard not like him or something? I can only imagine the voices that got to Vince were also in this match tonight. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what he said about my name? <laughs> Imagine if Triple H and Taz did the fucking I don't like game thing. Well, <laughs> Triple H just says, uh, the game is over. You're damn right. <laughs> just immediately took the mic back and shit on him some more. Fuck you, man. Cut his music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Play my music, which happens later. <laughs> this is a uh, very, very uh, crazy moment, I guess, because. I love um, Taz, man. I mean, like, uh, you, I, I know a lot of people might not have seen his ECW run, run which makes sense because a lot of people didn't see ECW, but like, I, it's so worth going back to watch this dude, man. He was like so fucking cool. Uh, bad motherfucker. They, like, yeah, I mean, they protected the fuck out of him. He was money, too, though. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course they did. Yeah, but he was worth protecting because he was fucking sweet. He was believable. Maybe to a fault, <laughs> he was believable. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's like only, I, think, <laughs> I think most people remember Tracksuit Taz that watched Fuck, him in WWF, man. which sucks. Because well, honestly, more uh, people probably just know Commentator Taz. Yeah, you're probably yeah, right. probably Final yeah. Fantasy Gamer Taz. <laughs> <laughs> you and a brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Trish Status is talking to TNA backstage. You're goddamn with right, she is James. TNA, whoa, TNA, whoa. huge Big yammers, man. AJ Styles, good for her, Samoa man. Joe, TNA. This she was crazy. Was, she yeah, was that awesome. Was man. Cool scene, man. Tess was in a Lugs jersey. I didn't see nothing in this whole scene. Well, Tris says, let's focus on our match and not on the <laughs> cleavage. Yeah, well. Tris specifically says, I can't, please stop looking at my I titties. <laughs> <laughs> Godfather and D'Lo Brown versus TNA. With Trish. That's awesome. Dude, Albert in hot pants and no shirt is Dude, a crazy look. <laughs> this is... This is so unbelievable to me. I fucking Godfather gets in the ring. He's cutting his promo. TNA's music interrupts. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I want to, you know, smoke a fatty with this pimp daddy. Let me do it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you know, earlier we were talking about the people's blonde. We don't even have to go over that now. Uh, TNA's theme interrupts. The uh, so there's a there's a crazy <laughs> sign in the crowd. It's not even a sign. Someone get, some guy rolled up this crazy ass blunt. It was like it was human a, size. It was a real blunt, by the way. There was real. Yeah, it was real. No, and he lit it up. Gigantic. There was crack in it. What the fuck? And it was laced with Clorox. And he smoked it in the arena. It was. It said the people's blunt on the blunt. That would have been even better during if, he just, this match. He, if he passed it around like the arena and you see all the different Holy spots shit. during the show. Yeah, crazy. I wouldn't pass it up. I made that. I didn't know he touched this Dude, shit. The no way. It was huge, the people's blunt, man. That was yeah, fucking, it was awesome. It was fucking crazy. And Godfather's promo here. gets interrupted for it, man. Fuck. Well, uh, Godfather is, he's about to get his ass slapped dude, D'Lo Brown style tonight. So. I, we, I cannot, we cannot go past this Albert look. This has to be talked about more because this, I don't, I don't know if this stays. I feel like that he did this and they said, don't you ever do that <laughs> shit again. He is so oily and so hairy, Great not man. his arms somehow. He's wearing the glasses and long 
leather fucking pants. This is the nastiest man I've ever <laughs> seen in my look. life. This <laughs> is so good. nasty. <laughs> Crazy guy, I like man. this. Good look. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Albert. Let them know. Giant Bernard is here to influence Hell Hellstorm. <laughs> <laughs> and crazy well, pressure. Here we go. Bubba Ray Dudley is on the stage. He he. Well, last Monday he tried to put Tris through a table, but she kissed him, and then he didn't do it. Which is a fair reason to not put somebody through a table. I love that they cut to Bubba Ray Dudley on the stage. He looked like a hidden character at first. <laughs> and Dude, just stood I, there until the lights came on. I thought it was the big <laughs> boss man at first. I was like, what's Who boss man? Doing out here? Yeah, it's unlockable Bubba Ray Dudley. You've unlocked Bubba. Uh, so then D'Lo Brown accidentally hits Godfather when he was going for the pimp drop. Devon goes to stop Bubba because Bubba tries to come down to the ring, by the way, as well, while Godfather and D'Lo run a train on shirtless Albert. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Godfather uh, hits a double hoe train on Test and Albert. Uh, goes to pimp drop Test, and as as James was saying, and D'Lo goes to hit Albert, but Albert moves, and D'Lo hits Godfather, and then Albert hits the Baldo bomb on Godfather for the win. I don't know if it was called that yet. The D Railer so. down Baldo bomb. No way, it was not D Railer. Is a whole different move. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> don't do this to me. The Baldo rail. Get bald to rail. <laughs> That's what Rikishi was asking for earlier. <laughs> TNA wins. Yes, uh, yes, they do. The, there's a sign in the crowd. The people's blunt. It's this big blunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you yeah. caught this, bro, Johnny. I talked about that at the giant, top, bro. It was no it was big deal. It blunt that they passed around, deal. and it would appear at different parts of the rock. It didn't have, any, didn't have it, chlorine you know, in it or whatever the fuck he said. Clorox, dude. Spike with Clorox. No, yeah, I was there. I was smoking the people's blunt. You were not in Philadelphia at any time in your life. that? No one was smoking that, bro. And this is WWF country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, D'Lo smoked that and then turned on Godfather. <laughs> D'Lo and Godfather arguing after the match. It was very much D'Lo's fault. So Godfather had a reason to be upset, but it was no big deal. And Godfather agreed. He's like, all right, we're cool. And he goes to hug D'Lo. And D'Lo just hits him with the sky high and then yells at him, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. right. Screw you. What Let the, them know. What the fuck, <laughs> man? There's no way to get the people's blunt. Well, the WWF Slam of the Week brought to you by Casual GTX Drive Hard. Which was, Earl of Hebner course. is assaulted in fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, get it right, please. He was fired and then assaulted. No, I'm sorry. Oh, about that's right. yes. God, legal legality. Smackdown is brought to you by yes. WWF Aggression, the album. Did you own that album? Have we talked about that album on here? I believe so. A lot of crazy ass songs on that album. I feel like we well, should do like that. Well, there is, uh, of course, the. I think what people probably most know from it was the Run DMC DX theme, which they use later yeah. on the show. The King of Rock uh, cool Keith and Old Dirty Bastard did a Mankind theme song. Uh, Method Man did our Know Your Role song for The Rock, which he also used, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Snoop Dogg and WC did Austin's theme. Red Man and Rock featuring Peanut Butter Wolf. <laughs> Who the fuck is Peanut Butter Wolf? That's an awesome You know Peanut Butter Wolf going. Do you? You don't know? He knows. Come on, man. I bet he knows. Because you have did, an Android. They did Vince. What is wrong with an Android, bro? There's nothing wrong with the Android, bro. Because you got an Android, bro. There's nothing. Tony's got iOS 1.2. It's no big deal, man. We can have st uh, stuff separate. iOS 1.2 is still better than Android 69.3. <laughs> There's no way. You haven't even True. gotten there, bro. You don't even know yeah, that. 69 it, is probably a great Android one. Igloo version 3 or whatever they call that it's shit. It's ice cream. <laughs> 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 exactly. Enough they said. are pretty close. <laughs> Look at Johnny got real scared. Yeah, it's ice cream. Oh, please get it right. Sea Murder featuring Magic did Gangrel's theme. The East Siders did Kane's stop theme. Till I see blood. I don't I'll stop. stop. Till I, yeah. I see blood. <laughs> Hell yeah. You tell him. You tell him, brother. Ice T did Godfather's theme, which I'm pretty sure yeah, he we, used. He came out to this. Yeah, pimping eight, pimping eight. Wait, easy. Mystical did Triple H's theme? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mac 10 did the Big Show one, and then Dame Grease did the Ministries theme. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy ass fucking album, man. I feel like they did the Run DMC thing and said, We need an album for this shit. Get whoever you can get for this I motherfucker. Because they did the, uh, what was it? One that did all the rock songs. What was that called? All the, oh, uh, Stone Cold Metal? Or is there no, a different one you're talking about? The one, uh, 
was that forcible entry that one yeah fucked up <laughs> name <laughs> fucked up name i could think yeah. of but they did that they did this one and then they did that or they did the other way around i can't remember no i but... think that one forcible entry came out a- uh, after that i'm pretty sure because that okay, was like so a one or like two this one and then they're like oh we could do that because forcible entry i think has uh drowning pool covering triple h's song the game of that one oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you're right aggression uh was a commercial success in the u.s the album reached number eight on the u.s billboard 200 and t- number 10 on the top r&b hip-hop albums chart and in canada in canada it reached number six on the canadian albums chart uh it was certified gold uh indicating uh, sales of over five hundred thousand units wow wow how about that? Wow. Pretty good. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. I won't stop. No props for aggression, James? You don't I won't want, stop. Yeah, you don't, like, you don't like that song? I don't listen to music. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> but I do drink milk, ah. which, of course, SmackDown is brought to you by milk. Of course. Yes. Just milk. Just and milk. And Western, Western Union. Do you ever use you Western can, Union? I transfer a lot of milk. Through, <laughs> through the people's blood. <laughs> X-Pac, what are you trying to get, huh? X-Pac versus <laughs> Christian. Christian comes out to his own theme, which eventually stops. <laughs> this is not okay. this song. I'm no mercy sure. bullshit, man. It's called Shitty Blood song. Brother, of course. No, <laughs> it's going to hell. <laughs> Bro, it ranked six in the Canadian albums chart or whatever. Uh, Tori gets involved early. Uh, Christian pushes Tori, and then Xbox spin kicks him on the outside. Annihilates him. Speaking of Tori, by the way, oh, man. God, she is fine. She looks great here. Yeah, she really. does. She's got abs on abs. Uh, Xbox does the shotgun headlock that I like, by the way. Da, 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 da. I always love when he did that. That oh, is good, yeah. yeah. Kurt Angle used to do it. Scott used to do it, too. Kurt Angle did that? He did. Why can't I remember him doing that? Maybe you're right. He got, he'd get him in that... Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I think I remember that now. Uh, X-Pac hits the Bronco Buster and then a flying clothesline for a two. And uh, Cannonball Swanton? <laughs> what the fuck was this? <laughs> Christian almost didn't get out of the way. No, he almost gets annihilated. What the fuck is X-Pac doing here? He just flips, just flips off the top rope like fucking out of control. What the That's fuck? That's why he's my boy, X-Pac. I love me some X-Pac, but that was dangerous as hell. Uh, Christian starts his comeback with a drop kick and then a reverse DDT for a two. Yes. Um, gut buster from Christian sets X Pac up for the unprettier, but Hell the yeah. road dog is here. Oh shit! What's he doing here? Uh, shit, I don't know. What's he Setting doing? up an angle, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. Got well, the he's match getting, coming up. He gets bumped, and then Edge also attacks him. But then X Pac hits the X Factor, and I don't know why the ref was distracted because nothing illegal really happened there. I don't think Road Dog ever hit him. But whatever. Road dog smells bad. <laughs> He looks stinky as hell. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I like dog shit. <laughs> for some reason, I wrote down dog and pack and edge and Christian brawl. <laughs> well, that is right. <laughs> dog and pack. They do. They, that is who does do it. Uh, X-Pac wins with the X-Factor and both teams fight after and edge and Christian bump them out of the ring. Doggy style. Shizzy style. <laughs> Shane goes up to the Dudleys backstage and he wants them as lumberjacks. Of course. And he says, uh, what you guys did to Lita was insane. Anyway, you want to be lumberjacks? <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking killed Lita. And Devon says, any tables involved? And Shane says, ah, oh, yeah, 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 maybe, bro. And Shane then says, oh, look at this. Look at this. And he's throwing up the 3D gang signs. Oh, look, look at, at that. It. Look at <laughs> it. Look at that. And Bubba look says, we get, to hit, we get to hit the 3D on anybody. And Shane says, not me. And Devon says, all right, you got a deal. This was the most fucked up negotiation I've ever seen before. Shane said like a the rock says. line or something here. What'd he say? He said like the rocks line or something here. I don't remember what he said, but I was like, damn, he like just took the rocks old shit here. I can't if remember. If you what smell it was. what the rock is cooking, is that what he said? Yeah. No, I don't remember what it was. You smell this? Yeah, or you saw like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you smell what I'm cooking? That's what he said. Can you smell oh, what I'm yeah, cooking? Yeah, you're right. And then I was like, holy shit. Well, Shane right. took his whole cadence, so that doesn't surprise me that yeah. he stole his lines too. Oh, you oh look at that. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like when you're trying to get your dog to do something the or something. Signal, like, look at this. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, you like this? Yeah, you get we go to Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit in an IC title match. Intercontinental title match, and these guys just spend seven minutes beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> yeah, it was this, pretty sweet. It was sweet, man. They're just doing it, wrestling around, doing chains. I was very, I was very confused in the beginning of this one. Kurt is getting babyface shine, and I said, "There's no way he's the good guy here." They're both Kurt Angle right? is the good guy. No, Kurt Angle was supposed to be the good guy is, here. Is he? 
I don't think he's turned like drastic heel yet. I don't think he's done anything. No, he that's started like... out as a baby face, but I think he turns. Now he was heel right real here. early on, right? He's heel at WrestleMania 2000. I mean, he interacted with Stephanie in the way that would. Yeah, I guess you're uh, right. And imply... they like that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. That makes sense. Sure. Um, but he got baby face shine, which was yeah. like, which is and that's why I was very confused. I didn't right, know right, if he right. was supposed to be what he was here. Yeah, because he was he got baby face shine, but he also argued with the ref. So I maybe he was like in between. <laughs> it's like, the in between phase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I like doing trying to here? Figure out where to go here. There's also a chant like they chant the crowd chants at one point. I don't know if they were chanting asshole or are they chanting angle. <laughs> I don't, I couldn't tell. Or <laughs> boo well, The radicals were definitely heels. The radicals absolutely. Were heels. Oh, Benoit is definitely heel. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. The crowd gives up on this match at some point because there's like a fight or oh that's why they were chanting asshole at somebody in the crowd that's what it was because someone there was a fight or something and i guess somebody oh, okay. got thrown out so they would just stop paying attention and started dealing with that uh benoit goes up weird. yeah i don't know what was going on you know philadelphia benoit goes up top uh presumably for the headbutt but the big show comes out and he throws benoit off the top rope and then he was benoit going for the cannonball senton <laughs> <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> uh, Benoit wins by DQ, and Big Show then chases Kurt to the back because uh, I think I, I missed <laughs> saying this earlier, but Kurt uh, was talking shit about Big Show dancing. Already. He said he shouldn't be doing this. He was a champion, and he, sh- he shouldn't be out there dancing. Rikishi's dancing. He, d- he can so dance. This was but- Big Show, not Big Funke, right? This oh, is yes. Big Funk. Show. Yeah, Big Funke. Oh, now he's still in Philly. Well, that could be true. He wasn't dancing here, though. He was just chasing Kurt Angle. But, you know. Well, That's his third face. The third eye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Big Benoit <laughs> takes that. Oh, my <laughs> God. Big Show pushes Benoit. And he just, uh, from the top rope to the floor, no hesitation. Yeah, no choice. Boom. Big Show Bam. just shoved just him really hard. Yoinked his ass yeah. straight to the that floor. Was awesome. Holy shit. Benoit even gets up after and he's like, what the fuck, man? Holy shit, man. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Um, Chris Benoit retains the title by DQ. Yes, and then he beats Taz. Very easy. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Triple H backstage asks Bull Buchanan and the boss man to be lumberjacks. He said, "You guys, uh, we got, uh, we're handpicking guys for this ringside thing, and you guys are my top picks." Please you, notice, <laughs> Triple H does not say either of their names. He doesn't you say- two <laughs> are my top picks, <laughs> guys. Like that, he never ever once looks at Bull Buchanan. <laughs> Bull Buchanan is not are there. My top- <laughs> and Bossman says, we know how tough we are, and we're there. <laughs> and he dabs him up. All right, great. Uh, so backstage, Triple H is with DX backstage drinking Aquafina at a table. <laughs> <laughs> I think Road Dog was drinking YJ Stinger, it looked like, or something. Yeah, did you see what Road Dog was drinking? No, what was it? He was drinking Storm Soda. You remember Holy the Storm oh, shit. Soda? Wow. Road Dog was always, energy. Road Dog was always ahead of the curve for Let the energy drinks. Let me show you drinks. this picture of Storm you got a Soda of here. A Storm Soda. Holy fuck, that is what it was. Do you Jar know Jar 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 Biggs on it. So Storm That's Soda was based. the original Sierra Mist. And then they wow. Dude, I Sierra Mist. love Sierra Mist, man. That's fuck. crazy. Yeah, Jar- that's a good drink. Jar Jar Binks reminds me that Chris Danker never finished that Star Wars Episode 1 <laughs> fucking so video. True. That bitch! God, I want to see the, the Jar Jar What happened Binks to Jar Jar? doesn't even show up yet, and he hasn't even gotten there. Come on, so Chris. Please, Chris. God, please finish, Chris. Please finish it. Dude, Jar- this bad <laughs> thing... <laughs> <laughs> this backstage segment felt like the Sims talking or something. Yeah. I, I see him talking. I remember, they're I saying stuff, dude. It's, but I can't understand a single thing of what's going on. This felt like a dream sequence. It's the fucking SmackDown two cutscene in the season mode where there's no words. It's just people <laughs> just <laughs> pan- <Jar>. pantomiming <laughs> Jar- Triple Jar- H's backstage. <laughs> Go in, uh, Stone Cold well, has Jack. arrived. <laughs> yeah, like, this is fucked up. <laughs> this is like, I'm about- asleep right now. They were just talking about Rock and Jericho match and how they're gonna have a match. That's right. Go ahead, fucking Lumberjack. Jam jar. Ah. <laughs> I'm like, what? Uh, they were talking about Chris Danker okay. not finishing the Star Wars series. And so I. I went to watch And I Danker. am too. <laughs> uh, outside the arena, Crash Holly is the hardcore champion. Yeah, well, earlier today, he came from a circus across the he street. He went to the circus, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he got a bunch of crazy clown stuff he's got a yeah and you know that crazy clown stuff like <laughs> balloon animals, balloon James animals. Is trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> i 
I love too much storm soda. <laughs> that, was, that was me at DVW was... No Pressure when I went to go get the, the Oreos. Oh, I'm, looking yeah. for cra- I'm looking for crazy cloud stuff and see if I got it. Yeah. <laughs> They did not. I got fried Oreos, though. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Balloon animals, of course, is what he had. And then all of a sudden, he walks into a clown and a man with a big trench coat and glasses and nose. <laughs> it's <laughs> very, how clowns get around. Very interesting setup here. And the clown says, oh, you're the hardcore champion. This is how he talks. It like Tony awesome. Khan. And you defend <laughs> it everywhere. Khan. You defend that title everywhere. The clown then attacks Crash Holly with a broom and pins him for a two count. The referee takes off his jacket, but not the glasses and fake nose, so I never figure out who it is. Yeah, I don't know who this is. <laughs> who this mystery referee is. Never player. seen this guy. Uh, Crash then throws the clown into a pallet and goes to leave, but then he is jumped by another clown. <laughs> the clowns is... have escaped the circus, Tony. What the fuck is what going on here, hell? man? Bro, the clowns attacking with the shaky cam <laughs> is the funniest thing. <laughs> I was legit, like, crying laughing. <laughs> The, 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 the camera is going voice on too. nuts. The camera is fucking. Oh, bah, 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 bah. It's all over the fucking place. These clowns are stomping There's out Crash Holly. A third I can't clown see comes shit. in. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna get him down here. He's right. They're fucking stomping him out. They're crazy camera. Oh, what was this? One of the clowns starts beating Crash with a big clown shoe. <laughs> this is so sick. I love this so much, man. This is the nuance they lost in the 24 7 shit was like yeah. the crazy clam with the clowns. Fucking shaky, fucking oh, oh boop, 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 kick his ass, boop, boop, boop. That's dude. My favorite hardcore title thing was the uh, when when Patterson and Briscoe were getting it from Crash when Crash was sleeping in the locker room. Oh and they, yeah, like, they made great. the referee cr- cl- like count without putting slamming his hand down. Dude, <laughs> oh yeah, that was thing. awesome. He did the quiet celebration. <laughs> yeah, the best part about it was the commentators were like, Shh, oh, whispering cut. too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I re I redid that spot for the twenty four seven action title. Did you? Yeah, where I came in, yeah, do was asleep. So That's so that. sick. But yeah, so three clowns stomping out Crash Holly in the parking lot, all dressed as clowns, and Crash Holly is not in gear or anything. He's just wearing the hardcore title. And then the clowns all fight over who's going to pin Crash, which leads to Crash getting away. And then they all argue in the clown voice. <laughs> Why <laughs> I never did find out way? who these clowns are. <laughs> I never figure out what posse that those clowns were in. They keep, yeah, they kept saying they were the mean street pussy i said that's I weird that's, that's very weird rude of them to call them group. that they're, they're obviously <laughs> the juggalos were here to attack yeah, crash obviously. holly and Drinking crash storm. is the ch- juggalo champion shit wrestling champion <laughs> shit and him balls. and the young altar boys Dumbass. But backstage, <laughs> Kevin Kelly is with The Rock, and you already fucking. Kevin Kelly is with The Rock. Oh, he boy. is getting shut up real quick. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> fucking. They're outside of The Rock's locker room. They do like a wide shot at first, and the cameraman realizes they're live, I guess, and walks up to them. <laughs> no, sorry about that. Uh, Rock puts his hands up to Kevin Kelly's face. The crowd chants Rocky. The Rock says, You book The Rock. He says this, You book The Rock in a yeah, lumberjack right. match. <laughs> the Rock doesn't have a problem with Y2J. The Rock does have a problem with the fact that this isn't even a match. You're delaying the inevitable. The Rock says this, Go ahead and live it up with the WWF title. Have a picnic with the title. Fly a kite with the title. Go down to the Philadelphia Zoo and suck some monkey nipple with the title. <laughs> that is crazy, man. <laughs> The Rock says, Vince McMahon, if you want to stick your nose in The Rock's business, then The Rock has a rattlesnake ready to strike on your candy ass if you some metal That's Shane's line. I don't know why he's fucking taking that. That is crazy. Suck, suck some monkey nipple. At the Philadelphia Zoo. I like the, the Philadelphia Rock. Zoo. I like the Zoo very nice. <laughs> Okay, the monkey nipple. They got monkeys there. That's true. He's Horse. not. That is historically accurate. <laughs> la 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 la. Lumberjack mess tonight. <laughs> you want to book the rock? <laughs> that's him Very emailing suck some monkey nipple. <laughs> that's him emailing us back. You want to book the rock? <laughs> Go suck some monkey nipple. <laughs> All right, rock. Yeah, let bad, me know. Bro. <laughs> uh, the WWF boot of the week brought to you by Lugs Boots and Shoes. Where are your lugs at? Uh, this is not a boot. Linda slaps Stephanie. The counter <laughs> slap. Boot. Yeah, that was counter slap spot. I love seeing Linda slap Stephanie. Huge pop. Crazy shit. And there's a shoe rotating at the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> they never figured that out, huh? Nah, no way. That should have just uh, the, been test segment. You're right. It should have just been like... Yeah, they or were X-Pac whatever. or Steve Get Blackman. Get the money, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fucking, fucking hell. Uh, the Rock versus Y2J Lumberjack style. 
Uh, McMahon Helmsley regime comes out to the DX Run DMC theme, which is awesome. That and of is course, awesome. following behind them, all the stars are here: Bull Buchanan, and Boss Man, and the Radicals, and the Dudleys, and you Kurt Angle. Those guys. I for some reason in my mind they hyped it up as like a million people being there. It was just all the people that they showed them on TV I going up to get, which is fine. Yeah, that makes I a lot of sense. That, that was uh, uh, Lawler on commentary says, "Oh, I want to do a rock impression." Finally, Errol Hebner has been fired. All right. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the camera once again looked all a lot darker for some reason. I mean, maybe this my, was sick, man. King of Rock, girl up. intro for Y2J, ECWKM. That shit's hey, we awesome. We got it all right here, man. Rock is looking crazy here, too. He's fucking looking great. That's the uh, champ. The, the Rock straight up throws. I actually thought this was a fun lumberjack match. I yeah, thought. But, yeah. The Rock I mean, didn't try to do anything like two outside the, the walls here. It was right. just like. Let's just let's just have a match, a lumberjack match. Like, what would you think a lumberjack match is? And this is exactly what yeah, you, you expected to be. Especially if it, the all the lumberjacks are people that want to. Like, usually it's a split to use like faces and heels, and like the faces will beat up the will help the face, and then the heels will beat up the face, and yada yada. This is all the heels wanting to whoop two guys' asses every time, and it fucking of course that's pretty sweet. Uh, the Rock throws Y2J over the ropes. Lumberjacks kick his ass. Stop uh, him out. <laughs> Jericho hits the triangle drop kick off the top rope. To yeah. Rock. Dude was a fucking menace, man. That shit is awesome. Rock gets his ass whooped. Triple H even jumps in and punches him in the head. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. Bitch. Um, the Lumberjacks kick his ass, throw him back into Y2J. The Rock then gets tossed out. The Lumberjacks kick his ass. The Rock gets a tilt to world power slam for a Holy two. Holy <laughs> shit, that was awesome. I love that. And then The Rock gets himself out of the ring and starts attacking the Lumberjacks. <laughs> By the way, also at one point, Jericho hits the Lion Salt, but my, did they not call it the Lion Salt yet or something? Because Michael Cole won't stop calling it an Asai Moon Salt. Oh, wow. Really? No, they definitely yeah. call it the Lion Salt. I thought so too. Yeah, Cole twice. I thought I was like, oh, maybe he fucked up. No, two times. He calls it the Asai Moon That's Salt, weird. which is wrong <laughs> in both yeah, parts. Just wrong. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Rock just goes out and starts whooping ass. Jericho goes out, starts fighting him too, and of course they beat the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what right. do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> that was sweet though. That looked mm -hmm. awesome. Um, Triple H cool. distracts the ref. Uh, <laughs> I love that they like <laughs> kept the rules up. They're like, the Lumberjacks guys can attack them outside the ring, not inside the ring. Yeah. So Triple H distracts the ref. Benoit has a diving headbutt to Chris Jericho. <laughs> I like that they, that was also a spot they had planned. They knew, all right, when I get up on the apron, you do that. <laughs> you butt. do the diving headbutt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Triple H distracts the ref again. This time, X Pac gets an X Factor to The Rock. Yes. It's like The Rock got off way better than Jericho in this <laughs> regard. Dude, yeah. The, Jericho pins Rock. Rock kicks out of two, and X Pac has a fit on the floor. <laughs> oh, Fuck you, man. I'm fucking move, man. <laughs> uh, the Rock gets a spine buster, but then all the lumberjacks get on the apron and they try to attack him. Bumped off the apron yeah then the the triple h gets on the apron too and the rock then pulls triple h <laughs> to the ring Starts huge, whooping his ass. <laughs> huge pop he's yeah. whooping the shit out of him uh shane gets in the ring and attacks the rock with is his this, little punches is this no dq is that how well, lumberjack I, matches work i actually don't know ref. I, yeah. I think anything's legal on the outside of the ring on right. the inside of the so. ring okay yeah. so yeah. shane cheated here but he also runs yeah, the company absolutely. and does he's triple a, h the fucking man yeah well he like he didn't really like I guess it depends on the severity of it. Like in basketball or whatever. Behind, didn't he? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, like in you know, like in basketball, if you charge somebody and the you know if they don't take the charge, then sure. it's not a charge. But like the rock, like he glommed him, but then the rock was just like right back up, and he he looks at him in the face, and Shane's doing like the little dance thing, and the rock's like <laughs> looking at him. He <laughs> runs away from the rock. Right, the referee's yeah. like, ah, whatever. We let it slide. I mean, this is also an error where I think Paul Bear talked and got disqualified for Kane. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a case by case basis. Uh, the Rock hits the rock bottom on Y2J, but Triple H pulls him out at two. Son of a bitch. Rock hits another rock bottom, he just, but he, he beats up Triple H, gets back in, and just hits another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Man. Shane distracts the ref by grabbing the ref's nuts. I don't Me, know what was going on at this his, point. He grabbed a sack and made the ref motorboat him. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Shane's crazy. Uh, Triple H then hits the rock with the world title. And then pulls Jericho on top of Rock. Triple H wins. Triple H wins. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Because he he didn't play. win enough tonight. Chris Jericho, he, one, two, three. They played Triple H's music. They showed <laughs> Triple H the rest of the shot, celebrating, and then the show ends. Triple H is <laughs> laughing H. as it fades to black. What the fuck? <laughs> Triple H won everything tonight. Triple All H won stuff. every match tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> well, but he did take a body slam on the floor. <laughs> he did. That's very true. He, threw some, he got some punches in on him as well. The Rock got wow. more offense than Taz did. Oh, my God. Yeah. Man. Fucking what a show, man. Uh, that big show Rikishi thing, I will. I I still the, don't know if I believe. The transition to the ass slap is crazy. That was like the craziest transition the to ever see. I seriously don't know if I believe that that was fucking, uh, that was really a, a thing. I feel like that was implanted. <laughs> it was. It was Inception. Fucking shit, because that's, that's so fucking. It was supposed to show his gladiator. Why is he slapping his ass? <laughs> Why is he slapping his ass when he walks in the hallway? Why is it Big Show slapping his ass? <laughs> Uh, that's fucking crazy. Uh, and Taz is fucked on the pay per view. Still sucks. It's always sucked. It sucked since day one. Damn, man. <sighs> that's tough, man. That's so tough. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I was watching. You know, I've been watching a lot of ECW recently. How sure. did they get the? I'm guessing the Vince money helped them get that set. Like I assume, like the TNN set with the uh, thing at the top, the stage design. I mean, I imagine TNN or... gave him some money, right? Yeah, I'm assuming TNN was like, hey, we want you to make a good production. Like, yeah, Here's make this look money. like TV. I was under the impression that they didn't, like, do anything. Though. I think they didn't really advertise them much, but I imagine they got, a, like, ECW didn't pay to get on TNN, right? I was, TNN paid them for the know. product, right? I don't, because I do know there was paid TV slots. I think the paid TV, at least before, was the hardcore TV stuff. That was, like, the, the syndicated okay. one. Um, because I love the stage set they use for TNN. I thought that was very cool. Like the yeah. entrance way with yeah. like the rubble and all that shit. Yeah. I mm -hmm. thought that was pretty fucking cool. I agree. I don't know. I don't even know where you would go to get that. Like, I don't know like where, how would you would. Yeah. I'm not sure. I need I'm... rubble and a rubble entrance. <laughs> way. And how would you <laughs> I, like who, who like where they get these trucks? What the TV trucks? Yeah, I'm guessing like there had to be money. I'm guessing there had to be money somewhere because they had like trucks. Because I know like they're paying like Taz and Tommy and fucking yeah. Devon to do the shirts and stuff, but they had to have like production trucks, right? I met for yeah. the TV but show. They were yeah, taking, I imagine so, sure. These stories are so crazy because like they were taking them in like the vans. They were just like had vans of shirts. And it's like. And they, like, Stevie Richards was driving them around and shit. Yeah, this is like crazy. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> did, I, I didn't. Even, I didn't realize the TNN deal was a three year deal, and it, it lasted a year and one month. Yeah, I think they just used it. They, I think to get Paul raw. said, "Yeah, they were like seeing oh, well, if wrestling, wrestling would work." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fucking. That's Dude, crazy, means, man. Yeah, I mean, man. ECW went out of business when they were still selling out arenas. Like, or, yeah, you know, that's crazy. Oh, to think the of it. They had super money issues, but they were like, they had them been selling crazy merch too. Like, it uh, look at the crowds of the ECW shows. It's all ECW shirts. I think it was said if TNN didn't drop them, like at the very least, if TNN or they would have survived, they would have lived absolutely. Because you know? it's not like they were not making money. Sure, they were. They um, just after that, they just weren't making uh, anything from. And they, TV, you know, so. they had to like totally revamp all their shit, you know, like Taz and Dudley's and all those dudes left. It was like the Baldies and uh, fucking Justin Crutt, the impact players. And yeah, you know, and like, that's a way different, that's a way different thing. I mean, but they were, they had like Judas Macias on the show one time, like in the two thousands and like they had, they had some like crazy shit. I mean, like sure. they were definitely looking for talent, you know what I mean? So that's, I'm trying to find shit about the ECW TNN deal, but I can't really see anything like money wise, like if they, like how much they were getting from them or whatever, but they had to have been making something. Yeah, I uh, I was reading about like the first because I was you know I started from the top of the TNN sure. stuff and it's like they definitely did TNN tapings. I was like, why the fuck are they showing Jerry Lynn versus Cyber RDD? Slam? Yeah, <laughs> I, think, <laughs> well, stuff like, I think the stuff like that where they would show shit from pay per views was when the network would cut shit that they taped that they didn't want and they didn't have anything else to fill, so they just threw on. Oh, here's RVD and Jerry Lynn again. No, what happened with that was Paul Lee taped TNN, the TNN tapings the first time and said, this fucking sucks. Oh, is that what it was? So he just straight up didn't use it. Oh, wow. And then he aired. Oh, really? Because the, the network wanted, the on, they only wanted new wrestling. They didn't want Paul Lee to Re like, Oh, yeah. Because the, the hardcore TV old. was all like recap, like a lot of recap. Yeah, recap from shows that yeah. they had done, tours. And they wanted new wrestling. And then on the very first episode, on the very first match, <laughs> it was fucking RBD Jerry Lynn. Lynn versus RVD. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> fucking hell, That's man. So I'm pretty sure there was instances of them taking stuff out, too, so they had to fill in spots, too. But I, well, sure, I do I remember that, too. I assume ECW yeah. fucking did some shit that was way too crazy. No way. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
But there you go. That was uh, SmackDown from 420. <laughs> 2000. And we got to go. We're out of time. We got to go. We're out of time. The game is over. We're out of here, man. The game is over. We are out of here. The game. The game. Shout out SA Rios.